I want to mow all by myself. That's right, I'm going to mow all by myself. What's up, everybody? HTG Brian here, back here with a lawn mowing simulator stream, more commonly known as Mowing Mondays. What is up, guys? Hopefully you can hear me. Hopefully I don't have any cracks, creaks, or bloops. I don't know. There was just some weird audio happening. Um, you know, as kind of a routine now, I always check to make sure that my microphone works, and the layer right below it is my capture device. And it was really weird. I had like this, like I thought, wait a minute, did the music from the game come back on? I'm not hearing anything in my headset. Like what? So I restarted a bunch of stuff and it ended up being the PC that fixed it. So I don't know what was going down, but it was definitely likely not going to be very appealing to you guys. I couldn't even hear it. So I don't know, but uh, hopefully everybody's having a good Monday so far. I've been doing pretty good. I got some audio cut for another Free Roam Planet video, so that'll be uploaded to the server soon. Maybe you guys saw that the first one was up. Tuanol, Tuanol, Tuanol. There's a lot of different ways you can pronounce that planet or area. Um, and uh, hopefully you guys found that helpful. Uh, it didn't have quite the views that I thought it might, but I also know that I've sort of missed that window of need for a lot of people. Uh, but I'm continuing to keep on with the keeping on as it is a long game, not a short game. And uh, I'm finding it fun, but I'm also finding it extremely repetitive in a lot of ways. Like, I mean, each area seems to have two or three, you know, net launcher bricks and one or two like grapple up around bricks. And, you know, there's always one tucked around a corner somewhere. And, you know, there's usually one or two silver boxes that need to be destroyed to find one. I mean, it's the same thing over and over and over and over again. Um, but there are some things like some tips and tricks that I feel that we are bringing like, you know, password locations and things like that that'll save a tremendous amount of time because there's the game tracks like 98% of everything you need. But there is like that 2% of things that sort of get lost in the rough. But uh, Father's Day was yesterday. I had a very chill day. Reese ended up getting called in to work. They needed him. And so uh, our, our day plans of just chilling all day faded into just wifey and I chilling all day. Uh, so he went and put in a, a whole shift at the golf course and then came home and we had a nice dinner and we watched a movie and, um, and then we just sort of chilled. And that was pretty much my day. This is, uh, I know I mentioned this earlier, I got another shadow box for my Muppet minifigs. Um, let's see if I can get it without the reflection there. It's, it's time to make the music. It's time to make the music. But, oh, so, so you can see here, basically the piece got put in upside down. So there's, a, there's like a glass wall in the back there. And um, it, it sits over. So it's a plexiglass. And it sits over the top of that background. Well, the plexiglass piece got installed upside down. And then the person who came in to glue those glued the pieces right side up. But then it turned out that the piece needed to be flipped because of where the rows were. So first of all, you can't connect a minifig by its head. I mean, you can technically by its head head, like the actual post, the stud on, but there's always like a wig or a hat or something on top of it, right? So you can't really do anything with those. Um, and, and it's supposed to be standing. So we contacted the people and they were like, oh my God, we're so sorry. I, I guess a couple of them got done that way. So, um, but still, uh, here in a few days, I will have uh, the pieces needed and we'll have to glue them. Well, basically, my wife tried to break them off and then re-glue them, but the pieces were... So they're going to send like the plexi and, and, and the new pieces so that we can glue them on, which will be nice. And then I'll put my figs on there and I'll put them back there with my other one over there. You guys didn't know that I have the Looney Tune one too, so pretty awesome. Like it's it's becoming like a Father's Day thing now. <laughs> um, I don't think I got the other one for Father's Day, but it's a cool gift. Like when in doubt, she can hook that up, right? So um, let's give some shout outs. However, bad news, guys, bad news. Um, I had to restart my PC. I lost the early notification squad and stuff. Um, 
I know that raised was the first one that I communicated with. I can, I can verify and guarantee that. Um, I had a zig zag morning running back and forth. Uh, so it's summertime now. And, um, you know, my wife doesn't have to get up anymore. And so she, <laughs> she sleeps in, in the back here behind me. And, um, so I have to like work in the dark and be quiet. Cause of course I have a heart and I feel bad, right? Like I want her, she deserves to sleep in. So, but like at the same time, I got work to do. <laughs> so like I waited and waited and waited. And then I was finally like, all right, I got this much audio to cut. I got this much time. And I was like, baby. So, I, so basically my normal routine is going to be uh, adjusting for the next couple of days slash weeks. Um, but yeah, so uh, this morning was crazy. I can see that Matthew D is at the top of my list. I know he was not part of the early notification squad. I'm pretty sure it was uh, Ch Chacho Ben. I'm, I think it was actually Ben Chacho and maybe Paige. May, maybe Paige might have been there early. Uh, you know, I used to write it down because I needed it all the time, but now I don't hardly ever need it, so I don't write it down. My bad. Um, scrolling down the list, Kirsten was out there. Vegeta, what up, what up, what up? Uh, as I mentioned, Chacho is out there. I know Justin was out there early, too. Uh, let's see here. Who else, who else, who else? I know there was more. I know that Ma... And Rob were both here early, so the Preston Bros unite. Uh, let's see here. We were talking lots about weather. It's getting warmer for sure. Um, and yes, this PC scenario is going to be interesting. Um, yeah, it, it like there's so many little things that we could do. Like I could make a modification and move some stuff, like cut a hole in the wall with approval from mother in law, and, and move some things too, right? Like I've, 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 we've had lots of ideas. We've talked about moving my desk in another place, like all these things. Ultimately, like at any point, like we could buy a house. I mean, we're not really looking, but if the right one shows up, we are financially in a situation where we could probably jump on stuff. So. Again, we're still waiting. We want to have a bigger down payment than what we currently have, but you know, we are capable. And so, you know, like yesterday I had a talk with my dad a little bit about like my grandparents' house, but they want like double of what we want to spend on a house, and they're not willing to change the price for family hookups. So, um, you know, but if that house, if they were to like say, hey, you know, here's the price. And we were like, yeah, we like it. Like we could be moving next week or it could be six months or it could be another year. But I don't really want to spend like we've even been talking about getting a mini split. Right. So a mini split is like um, an air conditioner that's like sort of like a big one for like an industrial building or place. But it's really not for a big place. It's for a small. So like they've got this whole unit and everything outside. And then it's basically just got a fan that hooks up inside and then it runs the coolant and all that. But it's like those are like two grand, 20, 2300, maybe more because we're on a second floor and might be some extra plumbing. But it's like, I, I don't know if we want to spin that because I don't know if we're, I mean, it, it would be weird for us to be like, hey, when you sell the house, we need some money back for that, right? But like, th there there is that possibility too. What's this, lawn? Ooh, okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to cheese it here. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to put Buddy on a decent mow job here. And then I'm going to do the litter pickup. And then it's, We're already to the rollers. Okay, so this is going to be me. Yes, it's me. No, no, no. And then, no. I hate that. Why won't it? Okay, there we go. This does not need a roller. General cut, general cut. Um, yeah, anyway, so mini split might happen, might not happen. Um We've talked about a lot of different things, you guys. We've talked about, like, punching out this wall. Because you guys know, like, that's ceiling, right? Like, it's 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 an A-frame roof for the room we're in. You know, but this way. Not, not this way. It's this way. And so, that's the ceiling. Like, I shouldn't be able to... Like, I shouldn't be able to touch the ceiling. But I can't. So, like, the... Like, Hot air doesn't have as much room to leave and do things. Like, even my light is, like, jammed up against the ceiling. It's just... Room is limited. It's just one of the things. Um, so I don't know what our solution will end up being for me, but um, there's definitely going to need to be something happening. Um, 
that was crazy too, right by each other. Um, because yeah, it's hot, and I will likely be rendering. Like my plan is, and has been for a long time, to um. Did I get through all the list here? I think I did. Ooh, there's more at the bottom. Hey, what up, TCU? What up? Long time no see. So I didn't. So it's it. I I either stopped it or uh, it didn't catch up right away. Um, let's see here. I'll, Josh, what up? Good to see you. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? 107. Good lord, that's hot. Uh, let's see here. I'll charge you on just for the first three, not including mods. Maybe. Twitter. Twitter. Twitter! See, look, I didn't even change. I still got the Apex overlay on. See, you guys, I, I, mornings are going to be different for a minute. And I'll get in the rhythm. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. Like, I'm just honestly, I'm used to like rocking out to music too. Like, every morning I turn on music um, and rock. And I do have my nice fancy headphones that I could put on. Um, I, I didn't think about that this morning, honestly. I, I bought them because we had family here. And there was literally no way for me to rock out early in the morning at seven in the morning. Mm -mm, it's not okay. So, uh, but that's when I do it. But I got these headphones for that, and um, I have to use those. They're actually really nice. Yeah, got it. Nailed it. That was quick. I didn't say it because I'm relaxing. <laughs> no, I think I didn't say it because I normally am like 20, 30 minutes in, and then you realize Twitter. But in this case, I remembered. Yeah, so we'll figure it out, or I, or I'll melt I'll live on camera. That might be a thing. Okay, I got you. Okay, so we're moving on up with the rankage. Oh, I should have paid to have him trained. All right, so it always takes me a second to remember how to where to so we got 100 300 and a thousand let's go with 300 because we can afford it for now um so we're getting him learned that's one of the trophies I, and i don't know if i'll make it to uh the platinum status on this game i've certainly spent a lot of time on it you know we, we played a lot on the xbox and now here we are on the playstation um Air conditioner spacesuit, bro. <laughs> so, so what you're saying is, I need to put on like a, a spacesuit type of suit, right? And then have like in the arm, have like a hole that comes out that runs to the mini split stuff, right? Dude, you're on to something here, Justin. Because then all the loudness will be outside and it'll just port this into my suit. But who cares how hot it is in here as long as I am cool? Right? That's actually a pretty funny idea. I mean, I don't think it's very doable financially for me, but I can see like, you know, Mr. Beast or, you know, uh, Smile More family or, or some of these bigger guys doing something like that. <laughs> Reminds me of a, I've seen that in another movie before, but it was done a little differently. Uh, the suit had a tube come off of it, but then it went to like a face mask. I don't, I don't know if you've seen that movie or not, but <laughs> uh, e -oh, e -oh, e -oh. I'll just say that. I'll just, that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> all right. So let's do a biggie. Get this out of the way. Get, get some grass dealt with for the day. Um, I, I didn't need any kind of a, uh, it's a general cut mulcher or a collector. Okay. So that should be good. We should be good. All right, let's do it. He's about melting. Oh yeah, that's that's crazy. That's that means it's warm. Hey, I just cleaned off this area. What the crap? It wants me to. Man, people are litter bugs, bros. I was just here. I just cleaned up twelve pieces of garbage like minutes ago. I bet you is it like the Noid running around dropping garbage? <laughs> like throwing stuff out as he? No. You guys remember the noise? Avoid the noise. Oh, you guys. I did have a moment this weekend. In fact, I even I even documented it. Not necessarily for you guys, but like it was a little pain and suffering. 
I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, and I know it'll it'll be mirrored, it'll be reversed, but uh. <laughs> I hit a hundred thousand in my GTI this weekend. So fun fact for you. My car is a 2012. It is 10 years old. I have had it for just over four years. Four years and like three months, two months, something like that. Um, when I got the car, it had 77,000 and like 620 miles on it. So we'll just call it 78,000, right? So 78,000, four years and a couple months later... And I'm only at 100K. So I haven't, I don't drive that much. So like for me, I've only put 22,000 on the thing. Uh, but it's at 100. <laughs> What's up there, Retro? Welcome back. Uh, Nick Park made the Noid for Domino's or something? I don't know who made it, but I remember Avoid the Noid. Like that was a big thing for Domino's, yes. Okay, so I'm missing one piece. Ah, trash. Did that thing squeak? Did that thing... All right, so somebody left their dog chew behind. That's probably what that one was. What up, FBI? Welcome to the stream, my guy. All right, let's go ahead and pump it up. We got to get our height right. So five, five, zero. So we'll... Uh, six is going to be our designate, because I don't think we have a... Whoops. I don't think we have a... Yeah, six will be our right height. And let's go ahead and drop it like it's hot. Which is funny, I just collected a kyber brick not long ago called Drop It Like It's Hot. Kind of funny. Real talk, all right, so this is way too loud in my ear again. There we go, that's better. Let me know. Mower looks really loud. Okay, I've dropped it down. Let me know if it's still crazy. Uh, yours is 2021 and only has 8,000 on it. That's not bad. Yeah, I, I, you know, you do the average on it, and it looks a lot different than my driving habits. Ultimately, I didn't drive it hardly at all, and then I put the big turbo on it and got, like, some more other work done, put the intercooler on, the bigger intercooler, and went with, like, the, the, the tune for my transmission and stuff, too. Then I was driving it everywhere. I was literally like, hey, you want to go somewhere, babe? Let's go. Let's go here. Let's drive there. Let's go here. Let's go to the beach. Let's go here. I want to drive here. I want to drive the mountain run. Let's go here. Uh, drove with the Eagle Crest. Like, I drove it everywhere. And, uh, you know, ultimately, gas is really expensive right now, so I haven't been driving very much at all either. So I've been, like, I think I mentioned it last week. I was, like, 150 miles away, like, two weeks ago. <laughs> and, like, I've slowly been chipping away, like, you know, six miles here, four miles there, ten miles there. Um... Someone, someone's in trouble. That's loud. What would be crazy if my door gets kicked in, the SWAT comes running up here. Get on the floor! <laughs> no, that'd be terrible. Listen, you want to talk about brown pants, that would happen. I almost did have a brown pant moment a long time ago. Um, I had, in high school, I have this friend that, um, he had a house up way up in the canyon and you know it had like a, a big gate around it like all fenced in like it was a kind of a, a compound if you will um and um one summer day he uh he opted to stay the night at my house and we ended up going back up to his house because it was a little bit of a drive so it saved him from having to have his parents get a ride or whatever and uh and took him up there and we pulled in he got out, punched in the code on the gate, oh, the gate open. We drove in. We were there for a good hour. And then all of a sudden, the chimer on the door up front, like the gate hit. And we we're like, what the heck? And I was like, are your parents home? Like, and they weren't supposed to be home yet, so it was really weird. And, um, and he's like, no, I'm gonna go check. And so he runs upstairs and he doesn't come back. And like five, ten minutes later, I'm like, huh, I better go see what's going on. So I run up there. I walk out the front door. Red dot. I met with a red dot right on my chest. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Neighbor had saw us pull in and didn't recognize my car. And apparently called the cops on us. And um, so, you know, 
I'm up there all the time. He was like one of my best friends. My car was up there all the time. So I don't know really what what happened. Why? If that was nobody ever, he didn't ever really. But they, uh, of course, my friend couldn't produce any ID because he didn't have his ID on him at the time. So they had to like march him into the house, and he had to go through and look for his ID, and couldn't find it. Couldn't find it. Couldn't find it. Dummy had it in his back pocket because he'd stay the night at my house. So stupid. Then we provided the ID and everything was fine after that. But it was kind of a scary moment. Like, you know, get on the ground. They, they like, apparently thought we were robbing the joint or something. Okay, this is terrible. Come on, game. What the hell? <laughs> Ain't nobody like to drive in this first person crappy mode. Not this one, but the other one. Uh, uh. Uh, we're not sharing links. Karaoke, that's not... We're, we're here to chill and, and, and watch the stream and hang out with the people in the stream. Like, there's social media. You got Twitter account, probably, stuff for, for things like that. Feel free to blast away from your Twitter or whatever, but... Facebook, whatever you got. Instagram, Snapchat, I don't know. Snapchat even a thing anymore? I'm old. I don't know any of this stuff. Uh, Mark says, sweet, I love my Mondays. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Oh, I should just not look at the chat so long, though, and miss my line there. I keep waiting for Gray to show up and be like, first. I don't know if you guys caught that, but I did sing Gray's most notable song at the beginning of the stream. I want to mow all by myself. Gonna mow. It's pretty pretty appropriate for the thumbnail, right? Like, <laughs> It's one of my favorite lawn mowing thumbnails thus far. Would you guys like to see my YouTube playlist? Uh, no, we're good. We covered this last time. We're good. People are, if people want to look for music, they will often search it or go to Spotify or Pandora or Sony Unlimited, is that still a thing? Um, I think it was Music Unlimited. I don't know that many people use YouTube for music. Maybe they do. I, I, that's, I, I don't personally, my, my family doesn't. We all have Spotify Premium. That's where I get all my music, especially like the stuff that you've mentioned that you have on yours, like last week when you were trying to get us to. I do kind of find it cute though that I do a lot of singing, and a lot of the songs that I reference are from the 90s, and yet here you are trying to... <laughs> so cute. But, oh, yeah, baby, I didn't get... Always, Josh. Always. I mean, I, I live with it. That's just... You know... It's just the thing. You get to be as old as dirt, which I'm right around the corner from. You know, things like that start to happen. Memory loss, hair loss, uh, <laughs> lots of loss. Boy, this big old tree. Oh, yeah, so, uh, movie. We watched Hustle. Have you guys watched Hustle? I know, I know. Ew, Brian's talking basketball again. But not really, kinda, totally. Hustle is uh, the new Adam Sandler movie on Netflix, and it's all about Adam Sandler plays a team scout, like a talent scout, and he goes and tries to find players that are undiscovered. And a bunch of things happen. I don't want to ruin, but, but like, there's a series of events that happen, and uh, he finds himself in a, uh, a, a remote location far, far away, and he uh, goes to blow off some steam, and he ends up running into a potential basketball phenom. And then he just basically tries to get this guy ready and noticed. And it's a struggle because it just goes to show, like, if this is even remotely how it is out there, man, these guys have terrible jobs. Like, 
Like at one point, I'm sure I think it's even in the trailer. He mentions he hasn't been home for his daughter's birthday in nine years. That's rough. Like I, I couldn't do that. I could never. I know a lot of people do whatever it takes to make it work or whatever. Sometimes doors open by doing, you know, terrible what seems like <laughs> ridiculous jobs at the time, right? But, I mean, and that's, I, I think the situation here, uh, a, a carrot is being dangled in front of him, and, and that's why he continues to do it. Uh, great movie, though. Really good. Um, you know, largely about basketball. And for once, it's a movie about basketball that actually has basketball in it. But it's got tons of stars like Shaquille O'Neal's in it and, like, you know, lots of basketball people. Dr. J's in it. Uh, you know, tons of people that you guys may or may not know who they are. But it's uh, it was very entertaining for me. And now that basketball season's over, I needed some basketball to fill my life with some happiness. Although I only got to wait a couple days and then the draft's on Thursday and then like big talk will start happening with trades and then and then summer leagues here in July. So uh, I think it's mid to late July. So still a few handful of weeks out yet. But uh, basketball is basketball. I've been trying to catch some of the WNBA, too, but I just don't I don't have like a full on team. Like I know players that I root for. So I definitely just kick back and watch, but I, I'm not religious. And same with soccer, <laughs> football. Uh, I, I've been watching the Timbers quite a bit too, but I feel like the Timbers have gotten worse since I became a fan. And I don't know if like it's me jinxing them, which makes me wonder, like I watch every single Blazer game. I watch all their summer league stuff. I watch all their preseason stuff. I watch all their everything, ever everything. And, uh, like, we even talked about going to Vegas and actually maybe going to some of the – pre. and it's not even, like, the main players. Like, Summer League isn't even, like, Damian Lillard and the people – like, it's people who might make the team or are rookies. Like, if we draft somebody in the draft on, on Thursday, he would be in it, you know. But, I mean, beyond that, it's, like, a bunch of players that are, might make the league or might make the team. But it's, it's fun, though. Like – and there's lots of other Blazer fans and others that go to them things. Thought about trying to talk Nam into going too. But I can't even get him to watch a Blazer game. Uh, Mark says, you planning on watching Lightyear? Sounds this weekend. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I'm not a, 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 a very uh, active theater watcher. I, I, I very, very, very rarely go to the movies. Um, I, I love and prefer watching at home. Uh, even before COVID and all that stuff, like, I was definitely not a movie theater goer. Like, I go every once in a while, but, like, I mean, once a year is active, like, way more active than I am as far as seeing movies in theaters. Um, my wife's been trying to get me to go see the new Jurassic, but I don't know. I don't know. There is a movie that I do want to see, like, right away, um, and it, but it doesn't come out for another couple weeks. We had guessing last week, but nobody got it. Y'all want to guess again? You're welcome to. I don't think anybody got it. Did anybody get it? I don't... I'm trying to think. Nope, nobody got it. I don't think. But yeah, when when Lightyear comes out on digital or or whatever, then I will definitely be interested in seeing it. I, uh, you know, I, I, I I'm sort of torn on the concept of it. Like like it looks cool. Like don't get me wrong. Like like visually and all that. Like it looks cool. But like when you start putting two and two together, like you know, being somebody who's watched Toy Story for a large portion of their life, um, loved the movie franchise, loved all the stuff about it. Like, having it be such a different take and, like, it's all supposed to be kind of like a serious kind of drama type of, you know, like, I, I just, it's weird to me because he was like a funny, whimsical cartoon character. And now it's like, 
so, so I guess my my hurdle is is that when trying to break it down and and like really evaluate what it is, like are we Andy? Like, are we portrayed as like Andy in this movie? Like, in the sense that we are going to watch a movie about, because like it's a fictional movie and a fictional storyline, right? But now all of a sudden we're like getting that story. It's just weird to me. Like, it doesn't. I mean, I'm overcomplicating it, but but I mean, uh, you know, it's just weird. I I, I, see, I think Zorg's in it too. It looks like he is based on the trailer. Um. So, I mean, at least they're, like, keeping it consistent with that aspect of it. But it's, like, I don't know. I feel like we're we're Andy going to watch the movie, right? Because Buzz doesn't exist in our world. Not really. I mean, it kind of does, but in a different way. And, you know, I, I don't have a problem. I like Chris Evans. A lot of people are upset about the voice. And it, it, it is weird. Like, I, like, I've mentioned that before, too. Like, I would rather have... You know, like we've talked about the casting for Horizon Zero, or Horizon, the Horizon. I keep wanting to say Zero Dawn, but it's not Zero Dawn. It's just Horizon. Uh, the Horizon show. I would rather have, you know, Ashley Birch, the person who actually voice acts for her. Uh, I'd rather have her do the acting than, than getting a character that might look a little more like her. Like the one character that a lot of people are trying to get to, to play her. Um, you know, I, I believe she's Scottish. And she has, like, a Scottish accent and stuff. Now, obviously, people, actors, are pretty good about being able to alter their accents or, you know, change their voice, fluctuate, or whatever. But, um, you know, I just feel like I would rather have... And, and, you know, I've said this a million times, too. Ashley may not want anything to do with that role physically either. But, you know, uh, kind of seems like a, a pretty big role to take on. And if you've already owned the voice and... and everything about it and you know I mean like there's probably not many people if anybody else on the planet that knows that character better than her too right so it is weird when they change characters on on certain things it, but but some of it depends like I can handle a Chris Evans changed as the voice from what Tim Tim Allen but um, you know certain things like that when they change I know I talked about this when they changed the Spartacus actor because he died I had a hard time watching the show after that I really did uh, Fantastic Beast. I have not watched that yet. I know it's on uh, HBO Max, but I have not watched the new one yet. The movie is about a fictional person, Buzz. The toy was inspired by. It. Right. Right. But, I don't know. Again, I feel like, you know, it's cool. I'm not hating on it. It's just, you know, like I said, I'm overcomplicating it. Physically, she actually looks a lot like her physically. Now, her face looks more like it than the two people I've seen suggested. Her hair color doesn't, but her body type and everything looks a lot like Aloy. Like, a lot. I don't know if you've ever seen her. Like, she's in Mythic Quest, and, and her body type matches up just fine. Her face... I think she looks way more like Aloy than a lot of people, especially with a little makeup and a red wig. That, like, if you put an Aloy wig on her, I, I think she'd crush it. But, I, again, I, I don't know that she wants anything to do with it. And she may have been cast for it. I mean, there's all sorts of what-ifs, right? Like, um, yeah, I, I, I think she's, like I said, uh, as far as knowing the character and, and all that, like, I don't think there's many, if anybody, that would know it better. But that's just my hot take. Joe Steele? Who's who's Joe? I, I don't know who Joe Steele is. Who's Joe Steele? Sounds like a, like a Joe Mama like kind of thing, but I'm like, who's Joe Steele? I'm sure I probably know a, a, a character or something she plays, but maybe not. I don't, I don't know. YouTuber. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Don't know. She like cosplay and stuff or something? Oh, makeup artist. Yeah, I mean, like, that's the thing. Like, 
with a little bit of makeup like uh, seriously like you sit down with the right makeup artist i could probably look like aloy <laughs> like i mean seriously like why not with with the right makeup and, and stuff i mean and that's one thing that i that that like for me that's a weird hang up like you know because the makeup's pretty easily done i mean what is it what is, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> watching a show and there was some shenanigans happening with some some dress up but it's sort of a spoiler if you will so I won't talk about it Whew, only a third done huh I guess I could probably speed it up a little bit I haven't hit any let's see if I can go full throttle I, I've been going like half throttle because I had so many turbulent stuffs last week Man, I am crude. See, I know it. Ah! <laughs> Get out of the way, tree! Oof. Ah! Ah! Stuck! <laughs> I'm gonna be stuck on a Tree. The minions? No, but uh, that is funny. We did talk about that a little bit the other day, too. I don't think anybody ever fully guessed, or maybe everyone was scared to guess who sort of may kind of tiny bit resemble Gru. Tiny bit. Tiny, tiny bit. It is a Ah, ah, ah. Hopefully I didn't miss any grass right there. The Rise of Gru does look pretty hilarious, though. Like, it's a little mini baby Gru. Not really mini baby, but a little, little, little mini Gru. Um, it, it, looks, it does look funny. I, I have enjoyed the Despicable Me's and stuff. I, it's been a while since I, I don't think I've seen them all either. I think I'm missing maybe one or two, but because uh, I think there's like a, isn't there like three Despicable Me's and then like a Minions movie too? I don't think I saw the Minions movie. I'm pretty sure I saw the Despicable Me's. So that was kind of like a you know, Reese loved those growing up. So oh yeah, <laughs> yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I'm still bummed too. Like, you guys, it's been like seven, I think seven weeks. Six, seven weeks since we reserved our Volkswagen EV, the ID4. And, and the next step is they're supposed to email us so that we can confirm our order and pay the next $400 or whatever. And it hasn't happened. Like, I don't know if it's ever gonna happen. I feel like, too, you know, there's only so many cars that can be claimed for the rebates. I'm wondering if this rate, if by the time we actually get it, if we're gonna be able to claim that, because that'll be a big changer for us. Like if we end up you know, if it ends up being like, okay, we don't get 2,500 of the 15,000, so we only get like, what is it, 12,500 or whatever, then, then that's probably not like a deal breaker. But if we only get like 7,000 or something, because we missed out on the other 7,500, then I don't know if we'll do that. 
you know, our payment would significantly go up. And, um, you know, right now, the way it's like, oh, like I said, it's almost too good to be true type of thing. Um, and it, because they're not calling back or emailing us, I'm starting to wonder if this is all really going to work out. And I mean, worst case scenario, we keep the Honda and, you know, and we don't get an EV and, and fine. I mean, that's like the worst case scenario. We get our money back too, whatever we put in. Right now we got $100 in. It's better than I can say about my crypto. I, I put about $100 into crypto. Uh, August, September-ish will be a year, so not quite a year yet, but we're getting close to a year ago. Um, I think it was actually November, now that I think about it, because I want to say it was after Thanksgiving when I talked to my brother, and my brother was like, just made a killing off Shiva. I was like, what? And then my friend Corey was like, dude, just crushed it on Shiva. I was like, what? One of them made like a thousand, the other one made like three thousand, and one put like a hundred dollars in, the other one put like two fifty. It was crazy. So I was like, yeah, I'm trying to get in on that. Your blades are damaged. Okay. So this is definitely something I need to take care of like now, because otherwise it'll leave behind half cut grass and it won't count for percentage. Uh, so I think I just gotta go roll over to my truck, which I was gonna say, hopefully I'm going the right way, but I'm not. Uh, hey, hey, what up, Esther? There we go. Wish I could go faster. This is as fast as she goes, though. It's the way she goes. You know, I should check. I can change the blades right here. Save me a little time. All right. All right, all right, all right. Uh, you didn't miss much today. We uh, did a litter patrol. I talked about couple of things I've been mowing all by myself talked a little bit about like you know my weekend Father's Day and such oh oh I believe that's the first plant slaughterings we've had today I could be wrong on that though all right hopefully we good there I'm pretty excited. There's a couple of things coming out soon. Netflix, Friday, Man vs. B. Rowan Atkinson, the guy who plays Mr. Bean for many years, is uh, taking on a role for the first time in a, quite a while. Um, and uh, it's going to be very much like his Mr. Bean, but different. He, he talks a little bit. So, uh, which I think kind of takes away from some of it, because, like, the, the silence of Mr. Bean, like... I think added to the hilariousness, but at the same time, like dialogue's important too. That's coming up soon. Um, the Umbrella Academy season three is coming up pretty soon too. The Resident Evil Netflix shows in like mid July, like the 13th or 14th or something. Uh, we started watching a show last night. We watched like almost half the season. Um, it's called God's Favorite Idiot. That stars uh, Melissa McCarthy and her husband. I, I don't I don't know if his last name is McCarthy or not. He's hilarious. I I, I I don't know. I don't even know his name. Honestly, his first name. But um, they do so well together. And he's been in a lot of like smaller roles and other things. You've seen him before, I'm sure. But uh, it's a very interesting show. It's just sort of like whimsical and and um, you know whatever. It's it's been funny. There's definitely some good actors in it. Lots of, uh, I, I don't know if I'd say cameo roles, but definitely like some smaller, fun type of, it's almost, I mean, I don't know. It's not really an indie project, but it's it seems kind of like it at times. But it's fun. It, it's, 
I've enjoyed it so far. It's a lot of like, what is happening? Why is this going on? Like, do we know? You know, so like guessing and stuff. I also know that um, pretty soon here, I know Gray will be really happy. The uh, only murders in the building season two, or I'm not sure if they're calling it season two or part two, but um, that's going to be popping up here in a couple of weeks as well. Um, that's got Martin Short, Steve Martin, and Selena Gomez, I think is her name. Um, and it's like a murder mystery, like they like some amateur guys in a, in a building kind of stumble across some murder stuff. And it it's pretty good. I, I find it to be a little slow paced and very predictable. But they did sort of throw a, 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 a loop uh, at the end or, a, you know, kind of a misdirect. So it was kind of fun. I enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to the next season, too. Uh, let's see here. Ben Falcone. Falcone. Is that, is that, oh, that's his name? I'm like, who, what, is, what are you talking about? Who's that? But yes, okay, cool, cool, cool. Is it Falcon or Falcone? I like saying Falcone. It just sounds funner. No offense to him if his name's Falcon. Although I've been, I found out kind of the hard way depending on what movie you're watching in star wars i've been saying the falcon wrong it's not the millennium falcon it's apparently the millennium falcon if you go back and watch some of the movies they definitely consistently call it the falcon and then later they call it the falcon <laughs> it's like what is happening you're confusing me it's so confusing Yeah, it's it's a pretty good show. Like uh, that that God's favorite idiot. And, and I think we're we're f five episodes in, and there's eight. So I, I think we we got three left, and so we're just over the halfway point. I, I think there's eight. <sighs> I'm still looking forward to that trailer for Clerks. I, I actually watched Clerks 2 this weekend again. I watch it at least once a month. It, it's such a terrible, inappropriate, wrong, in so many ways movie. But I absolutely love it. Like, I love the banter between these people. Uh, you know, Jay and Silent Bob are always funny. But, like, Dante and Randall are some of the best exchanges ever in cinematic history. Mostly Randall. <laughs> Mostly Randall, you know, but the berserker. Randall's pretty funny. Here comes Randall. He's a berserker. You tell him a Kevin Smith fan. All right, almost to sixty. Apparently in the new Thor movie, plus a lot. Oh, see? Yeah, he's definitely cameos in a lot of Melissa's movies for sure. Uh, there's been a few things I, I can't think of, but he plays like roles of like, a, it's always like a goofy, like a cop or, a, you know, like a neighbor or, a, you know, something relatively small, but always meaningful. I feel like there was something else too. We watched a little bit of Future Man. We're getting kind of towards the end of that. I don't know how that's going to end. It's it's getting really weird. Like like it was really good bouncing around and all this stuff. And again, very adult like, very inappropriate and crass. But um, at the same time, like it had like a good storyline. It was going somewhere. But like now, I, I think they kind of ran out of ideas. That's what it seems like. Or maybe it's all just going to come to fruition soon. But I, I haven't loved it. Like, I was, like, into it. We were, I was wanting to watch more and more every night. But I, I, last few times the wife suggested it, I've kind of been like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. My mom suggests that we start watching uh, uh, this. It's, it's a, it, what is it called? 1883. It's a time-based piece. And it's all about, like, a prequel stuff to that Yellowstone show. And apparently if you're over 50 and you haven't seen it, you've, like, committed some crime or something, because everybody I know that, that it, like, I don't know anybody under 50 that's watched Yellowstone religiously, and, I mean, there's probably, there's probably some out there, 
but like I get it recommended to me so often by like my mom, my uncle, like mother, like all these people that like are definitely in sort of an age based category, you know, and I don't know if it's because the actors, because, um, you know, like I, so a lot of the actors, I guess, are, uh, you know, from the earlier like 70s, 80s eras or, you know, like, what's his name? Um, trying to think, Joey, what up, man? Um, uh, I can't think of his name. Totally having a Brian fart. Oh, well. He's in Waterworld. What's his name? Kevin? No. Uh, not Richard Gere. What the crap's his name? You guys know it? What is it? What is it? I know you know it. I, can't, I know it. I just can't think of it. Anyways, uh, there's a lot of people in both of those shows, I guess. And my mom's like, oh, you really need to watch this. It's so good. Meanwhile, I'm like... Mom, did you ever watch that 70s show? Like, you grew up in the 70s. Like, she's like, yeah, I watched that. <laughs> like, that's like my favorite show ever. She's like, yeah, I guess I don't like it as much because I lived it. I'm like, yeah, but you got to have, like, fond memories and, like, moments and feel, like, very relatable, like, to the show. And she's like, yeah, I guess I do. So watch it. Now, that 90s show's coming out soon. That'll be fun. Most of the old cast. I'm curious to see if Masterson's part of it. You know, he, he got really thrown in the spotlight. Um, you know, there, there was a time frame not long ago when sort of a domino effect happened. Like, a couple of women came forward, and then a lot of women came forward, and it turned out Hollywood was a, filled with a bunch of scumbags. And, um, you know, there, there did turn out to be a few accusations that weren't true, whether they were trying to hurt somebody or return a favor or I don't know why, you know, like I, I Chris Hardwick's one that comes to mind that was wrongfully accused and and the, his accuser even came out and apologized and said, yeah, it wasn't as bad as I said. So there's definitely some, some but I, Danny Masterson who plays Hyde in that 70s show reportedly is a terrible human being. I don't know him. I, I, I always found his characters and his, you know, shows to be funny but, like, they removed him from the ranch and all sorts of stuff. I don't know. Yeah, Kevin Costner. There we go. I knew it was a Kevin. I thought it was a Kevin. Um, but, yeah, I'm curious to see, like, whatever happened with that. I've never, like, looked up to see, like, did Danny Masterson really do it? Did he, did, you know, did anything happen with that? Or was he was he potentially wrongfully accused? But it sounds like he was pretty greasy. Um, and his Hollywood career was mostly over. And I think his brother's was, too. Not that his brother did a lot beyond Malcolm, but there was a few things, I think. Uh, how is the Joseph? Are you here to report you finished Heat? Sorry, I got, I got to bring it up every time. It's either that or seven damage or both. You know, you know how it goes. You know how it goes. Ooh, almost to that funny number. Uh, let's see here. Are you going to watch? And no, Mastin is not. Are you, is that confirmed? And yeah, I will definitely watch it regardless. Because I know that like Fez was supposedly not in it, but he's totally in it. Like there was some sort of schedule conflict at first. Which, what is he doing? Wilbur ain't doing nothing. Like I have not seen him in anything since Yo Mama. And he's probably been in stuff, but I have not seen him in a thing since Yo Mama. Life is completely crap. Oh? I actually heard from uh, a good friend of mine yesterday. He wished me a happy Father's Day. And I was like, oh, man, hey, hope all this things well with you. You know, you just standard, re you know, reply. He's like, nope, things are not good. And I was like, oh, that, you know, I thought it might be health or something, right? Because, you know, he's not, a, he's not, he's older than I am. So I thought, you know, maybe apparently him and his old lady split up. And his old lady got the house. And it was his house. <laughs> so he's like, I don't know what's going on. Like. Like, oh, dang, bro. Like, that's not good. Uh, yeah. That's definitely a thing, unfortunately. Hopefully yours isn't on that kind of level, Joey. Hopefully you just constipated or something. Which, <laughs> that was me last week. Oh, which, by the way, I, I think I mentioned this already. Um, somebody showed up in the comments for this, for last week's Moe Monday and was laughing at me like as if I was an idiot because I had told you guys that I had drank some prebiotic drinks. And he was like, prebiotic, rah, 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 rah. it's probiotic, smart guy. Laugh out loud, laugh out loud, laugh out loud. 
And I was like, actually, so I, I actually double checked. I was like, because I know there's probiotics, but I was 99.9% .9 sure that it was prebiotic. And it is. Uh, Olipop and uh, there's this other kind. I think it's called that. I don't know what it's called. Heaven Pop or something. Um, it, uh, they both have prebiotic drinks. So I told Buddy, I was like, hey, actually, Olipop makes a prebiotic drink. Feel free to look them up. Never commented. I don't, I don't remember. You might be out there watching right now, but um, who knows? So what's the story, Joey? Or is it not public information? I, I, I did see that. Uh, I saw your post yesterday, but I, I didn't really know what to make of that. Like, I didn't know if you were there to support somebody, if you were there for your own reasons, if if uh, you know some of your some of your posts are fairly personal, seemingly, and, and there seems to be like a cryptic element to them, I don't know if that's intentional or if just I, I don't know. So I, I I don't I don't know. Hope hopefully everything is well. I know you said it's not, but hopefully it's hopefully it's not as bad as like you know my buddy his old lady. Hey. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, Skype? Do I even use Skype anymore? I don't know that I use Skype much anymore. I, I certainly haven't been on it in a few days. So if you message me there, I don't even know if it's on right now. I didn't get any messages, so I don't even think it's on on my PC. I probably logged in on one of my accounts somewhere, but... Yeah, I... I, I uh... I'm not over it per se, but I haven't been using it nearly as much. And nobody like, you know, Todd was somebody I talked to pretty frequently there and Gray too. I don't really s send many messages to them anymore. Gray's schedule has kept him from being able, like we send memes every once in a while, but I mean, it's been three, four, five days since I've sent anything to him. Same with Toot. I haven't, I mean, Toot showed up on Friday for the stream, but I have not physically talked to him or sent him any message or anything in a week or so. I think I talked to Kirsten on like Wednesday or Friday. But other than that, like, I haven't, I wasn't on it at all, like, this weekend. Like, I didn't get on it. Actually, maybe on Saturday I might have, because I was doing work on Saturday. I forgot that I wasn't screwing around all weekend. It was just Sunday. It felt like all weekend. Lego help. Psh. Giving you Lego help. Psh. No, I did, I, I was curious about that ship. I still don't understand how there's two unlock points for one ship and they're on different planets. That makes no sense to me. I still feel like that's a mistake, whether the patch changed it or, you know. I also noticed, too, that um, on Mustafar, there is, uh, on the mining complex, there's multiple tasks that you can do things for that, like, shoot uh, some targets or you know, press a button or whatever to open a crate that's containing a kyber brick. Um, on all the levels I've played thus far, which are, are, isn't very many, but all of them thus far, if you completed a task, but you didn't immediately go collect the brick, it would just reward it to you. And there were times where I was like 20 steps away from the brick and I'd get 10 steps towards it and it would just award it to me. Like, there's a lot of times that, like, you seemingly can't miss it if you, call, like, if you do the task. There are so many tasks on Mustafar that I did the task and I did not get. There was a couple times I was feeling kind of cocky and I'd, like, run the other way. <laughs> no, I had to go actually, like, connect with it and, and you know, pick it up. So, uh, and again, I, I don't think there's been an update in the last week. But I'm wondering if some of those behaviors are caused by previous updates. You know, like uh, we've heard that collectibles have sort of shifted around in a couple of incidences. Um, I'm wondering if potentially there was, you know, for what it's worth, too, Kirsten, I, I don't know if I did fully describe this or not. But um, so there's a mission on, I'm going to say it wrong, Octu, Achu, Actu, um, Temple Island. There is a mission there that you complete that unlocks a character. That's what the mission is for. It is a character mission. 
and you get that character for completing it. But off on the side, on the little blip off to the far right side, it says pull up your hollow map or whatever. And guess what? You've unlocked a new ship. So I did a bunch of research and looked at other videos, footage, other. I, I even went to the internet and looked around and I found out that the ship that I unlocked was the separatist vulture droid ship, which is in fact a mission that you need to complete on Mustafa mining complex. And when I complete it on Mustafa, I don't get anything. It's for the ship. And normally you'd get the ship icon, but I don't get it. But the mission is for a ship, but I don't actually. So how did I unlock it there when it's supposed to be over here? That doesn't make any sense. So I don't know if that was intentionally done that way or if that is some sort of a display glitch. But like, ironically, the missions are both for gathering obsidian. So I wonder if they like copy and pasted and then like forgot to change some values. You know, like I've done that before with quick links, right? Like I'll use like a big long list of quick links for one and then I'll go to the next. And, then, you know, I may label it properly, but I may forget to change the time or something, right? Like. So I'm wondering if something like that happened because the mission is both of them are collecting obsidian and the obsidian is in almost the exact same places. But one is triggered on one planet related to a character, but also gives you a ship. Doesn't give it to you, you still have to purchase it. It just doesn't make any sense. And I'm wondering how many of other ships, characters, situations are gonna be like that. You know what I mean? Like, that's just weird. Could be a one off. It could be the only one. And it could be everyone. Like, what if we find out that there's literally two ways to unlock every ship? Right? Like, maybe it's piggybacked onto another quest. Like, you're going to get this character, but you're also going to get this ship by doing it. You know, like, for example, you might do a, a quest for Boba Fett and get the Boba Fett ship or something unlocked, right? Stuff like that, piggybacking them on. I don't know. I'm supposed to know. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to see what that'd be like. But it is really weird, though, that you can literally unlock a ship. Like, that. that's not really ever been a thing in a LEGO game. I, I can't remember any other spot where you could legit choose. I mean, beyond using, like, a cheat code, right? Like, you could always use a cheat code and unlock an item versus... But I did the mission, so, you know, it's kind of weird, but, uh, yeah. And, and, and I'm curious to see how people that play and watch the video will, will comment and respond. Like, will they have already gotten it or will they, you know, will they get it? Will they, will something go wonky and maybe they'll do both and not get the ship? <laughs> I mean, I just don't know. Like, there's so many unknowns in this game at this point. Uh, I thought for sure, too, that uh, I had to go to get a password for one of the tasks and um, you have to go off planet to get it. So it's not a requirement. It's just an off planet task. Totally fine. Uh, but in order to get that password, you basically had to get a Kyber brick. And that was one of the things that I did ask Kirsten was, can you use BB-8 to go through the nom hatches? And really, I, I found an opportunity to ask you and... and basically make a nom short joke that you would appreciate um i i was gonna try it on my own and could have but <laughs> so i was pretty sure he could too but yes i do appreciate that response on that one as well and i and i do appreciate you laughing at my nom joke that's also important but yeah i've got uh i don't know my actual count of as far as like kyber bricks goes but, you know, there's 2,000 in the game now. And um, let's see here. We get like 225 for completing story and free play. So, I mean, there's like 1,800 left. We'll just say rough, rough math, 1,800 after I'm done. Um, and then I've gotten a handful of levels done already. Only one of them has been released. And again, the reason for that is um, I want to be able to control 
the flow of these videos. I'm sort of also preloading and getting set up for a vacation that I'll be taking in a handful of weeks um, or I'll be gone for an entire week. So uh, as per usual, our cousins are going to come in and, and uh, they'll get here like a day or two before we bounce out and they'll be here hanging out with my mother-in-law and doing mother-in-law thing. I, there's talk that my brother-in-law might come back too. I, I, I don't know what will happen with that, but I know that we've got at least our, our, our couple of cousins that are going to show up. And then um, we'll be here for like a day, I think, overlap. And then we'll be gone for a full six days, seven nights or something. Six, seven, seven nights. Six, I don't know, something like that. Whatever it is, a week. And then um, we'll come back. And I think they're here for two days when we get back. Or maybe they leave two days before we... I don't remember how it works out, but... Um, definitely stuff so like you know people being here and then packing and getting ready and then being gone i always like to have some stuff you know there i always like to make sure that that i don't lose momentum too um like with viewers and like i, I want to make sure that like like i know a lot of youtubers just take a week off or whatever I, i'm sure i could get away with that um but i mean it, it it's hard for me to feel that way about it like i I want to make sure I got a couple of videos, if not a video for every single day I'm gone. So even normally I don't necessarily upload every day, but if I'm gone for a week and I can upload seven times while I'm gone, that would be great. Um, I'm going to toy with the notion of maybe doing a stream from over there too, if our internet will allow it and I can connect to, um, you know, the servers to play games. Uh, we might we might uh, be able to do that. We might not be able to do that. As I mentioned the other day, they have a weird filter system on the resort that prevents consoles from logging onto their servers. So um, I have to use my Wi-Fi dongle or my tether from my phone, which doesn't usually support good. And if I have to use it to connect to the internet to play games and have to use it to stream, we, we've toyed with it before where, like, my wife will tether to the laptop and then I'll tether to my, you know, my PS. And, or or Reese. Reese's phone will be on his console and my phone will be on my console. You know what I mean? Like, so we're both using our own tether to get online. But uh, we'll just have to wait and see. We won't know until we get there. The good news is, is that my setup is different. Um as far as my laptop and my PC, but if I take a camera and a microphone with me, which wouldn't be too hard, I could USB those into the laptop and then, um, and then just assign those to the, to the, you know, the camera and the mic to my slobs. And then that should work because the, the slobs is all cloud based. So I, Anything I do, all my layers, all my camera stuff, everything I do is all saved to the cloud. And as soon as I log into Streamlabs, it logs into that and I can access all of it, which is kind of nice. Because like I said, I can literally not spend any time setting anything up on my laptop. I just log into slobs and boom, it's all there. But whether or not my internet will support it and, and all that will be... But if I if I am streaming, uh, I will likely be playing on the projector because we uh, we take our projector over there, and it has an HDMI that you can piggyback right into the back of that. And uh... what? Hello? That was weird. I swear, I just heard somebody talking. Maybe it was just in the headset. Maybe it was like a uh, somebody walking by chat die or what's going on there it's like there's lots of people out there but nothing's been said in like 10 plus minutes on my end maybe my stuff's locked up YouTube's been acting really weird like I was saying the other day it was showing zero people but people were chatting like what the crap is that all about Joey says he's still here work I mean I knew I was gonna mow all by myself but I didn't know I was going to be really all by myself. Ah, all right. So we're almost done with this lawn. Oh, 
hopefully we're going to get a decent paycheck for these two because Buddy's out there mowing for me right now as well. Yeah, yeah, Joey, I saw that. I, I, I won't be stopping the stream to, to read all that right now, though. Sorry, but uh, I'll get caught up with that afterwards. I appreciate you keeping me in the loop, though. Like I said, I, I hope everything's okay. Oh, is that a heart? Is that a heart? Remember that day? Did you guys... Were you here with that? I, I actually mowed HTG into the grass one day. And I was trying to set up a thumbnail for it, but it was actually not very good. Like, it was just hard. There's too many stuffs on screen. Like, if I could have, like, removed the HUD and stuff, it would have been much gooder. Ninety nine, doing just fine. Fan. You. Yeah. Reminded me, I got someone else's phone conversation from my radio. It's so weird. That is weird. It's definitely weird. I wonder if, like, you know what was probably happening? Like, phones, uh, like T Mobile, for example. I, I have a T Mobile phone. It has the capabilities of using Wi Fi instead of the network, right? So instead of actually using T Mobile's towers i can use my wi-fi from the house now for most people it works great for some reason my dad who is also on t-mobile he claims that every time we talk we get disconnected and oh, i sound like a robot and all this stuff doesn't happen to one other person i talk to not one and i tell him that he goes well same same and no one else sounds like a robot except for you you're the only one and i don't know like sometimes i wonder if he's like trying to do like a super troll or or if like he just doesn't want to let into the fact that it's his phone. I, I I don't know, but like like I said, nobody else does it ever happen to. And um, anyways, I wonder if it has something to do with that crossing the Wi-Fi signals. Oh, I am so close, you guys. Yes. I think it's ninety nine point eight. No, it's 99.9. .9. So I'm nowhere near, actually. All right, so let's uh, let's go get the string trimmer. Am I this way or that way? That way. We'll go get the string trimmer and see if we can find some stuff. Oh, that's interesting. Over the... Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe she had a prepaid, like, crappy Walmart phone or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Lots of possibilities, I suppose. I mean, it could just be a weird technological glitch, too. Like, where she had, like... She maybe had, like, a gold-plated, you know, who knows, Gucci phone. And it still picked up some junk. I don't know. Oh! Come on. Oh, jeez. <laughs> There's got to be like a big chunk somewhere. And say, I feel like I did a pretty good job of cleaning up. <sighs> it might have something to do with my, uh, I don't think I can check. Oh, I can't. So let's look at that again. I mean, there's basically nothing out there. 
mean, it's all nom height. Should be good. Ooh. Couple of missed corners. Bring around the rosies. Oh, come on. At least give me the 99. Yeah, okay. We're in the home stretch now, peoples. There's a little bit right here. Come on, we good. Yeah, I'm really excited that they're bringing back Lollipop Chainsaw. Uh, most of you probably never even heard of that game. If you follow our Discord channel, you probably saw I posted a link to it the other day of our playlist. Uh, but that's only because it's coming back. They're talking about doing either a reboot or a remaster. Ironically, the 10-year anniversary of my Platinum was like two days ago. It's actually really funny. I had no idea. I knew it was like they were talking about bringing it back for the 10 year anniversary, but I didn't realize like it was happening now. Like I thought they were talking about it because in July or November or December or next year, it was going to be the 10 year anniversary. Not that it was like this month right now. So um, kind of cool, kind of crazy. It was a weird like slasher kind of game, like almost like, a, I don't know, adventure slasher, button smasher kind of game. It was a... Uh, it was fun. I, I actually quite enjoyed the game. At least I remember enjoying it. Um, some cheeky, cheeky trophies. One particular required you to look up the young girl's skirt, which is questionable at best. It was actually the... I, I, saved, I played the entire game without having one mistake or urge. And that was my platinum trophy. That was my final thing I did. But beyond that, like, yeah, yeah, you're like a cheerleader and your boyfriend gets his head chopped off, but yet you can still talk to him and he's kind of like your little buddy and uh, it's really different. It's really different. It was fun, though. And hopefully it'll be a remaster and all of our videos will apply and be helpful. And uh, and then, of course, if it is, then I will play it and restream it again. Oh, that would be fun. I'd love to play that game and just play it. All these like little tiny, tiny little bits, nom sized morsels. Although, for a little guy, he packs a punch in Apex. <laughs> He's been making us look terrible. Michael, what up? Okay, we are like. 0.001% away from getting this done. Okay. What happened? Well, who's wrong? What? Joey loved that part. What part? You trying to set people up again with bad jokes, Michael? <laughs> oh! Come on. Come on. Yes! Woo! To the hoo! Trample, 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 trample. I'm out of here. All right. That only took, what, an hour? Thousand bucks, two twenty-eight. Ooh, getting paid! It's a pie. Let's purchase some adverts. It's a pie. All right, so status confirmed. How are you gonna train the best in the world? Thousand bucks. 
All right. Uh, yeah. All right. Cool. 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 We might actually have this. I got to do a couple more. I got to do this job and then one more paying him one more time. And the last one's only a hundred bucks. So that should be like good, good, good for that trophy. And then I'll move on to something else that's probably way more important. I probably shouldn't have spent my money on Buddy, but that's okay. Uh, let's see here. Zero will sign. A player must be signed. Okay. So I will take on the no me, no me, no me. Yes, me, 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 me. And then let's put him on a big dog. What's what's that other one right there, though? 480 now. 790. Let's get her done, boy. Remember, uh, remember that chick in my Xbox one that kept taking all that un <laughs> unapproved vacation time? <laughs> what the hell? Uh, that was funny. So I need five objects. I, I, get in my bella. Chickadee, 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 chickadee. All right, two mo, two mo. Oop, one mo, one mo. <laughs> See what I did there? See what I did? Ooh. Okay. Let's go the opposite way. Often we will see things we did not see. Swoop a doop. Where are you? Oh. Bam. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Okay. Uh. Here, let's do, let's do something different this time. Oh, I'm cutting the wrong height. Am I though? <laughs> okay, bad idea. Actually, let's hit these trees up real quick though. Get it. Okay, nailed it. So you can tell I'm doing things a little bit different as I get a little bit more experience. <laughs> got to get it all, got to get it all. So this is working. I don't know why it was telling me I had the wrong height. This guy. And the only thing that would really make this any better would be like custom music. But I get it. Custom music's copyrighted. I mean, the people I listen to don't want me listening to their music while I'm streaming. I mean, they might, but. I don't think anyone's seen your picture. It just shows an M, Michael. Thing sounds like it's struggling a wee bit, huh? Yeah, somebody ripping by.
becoming the master of the string trimmer. Not a bad go with this wall line here, huh? All right, a little wonka do coming back though. Ooh, it's almost a nice straight line. Mostly. I wonder if you get a. I wonder if there's a trophy for cutting an entire lawn with a string trimmer. I mean, I don't plan on doing that, but I was just curious. Get this little tuft here in the middle, and we should be about done. Actually, I want to get the benches in the middle, too, huh? Chiggity, chiggity, chiggity. I think I can do that middle, this whole thing. Actually, I'll do this end and the other end. And then, I think I did this tree already. No. <laughs> that suck it. Uh, you know how there's birthday candles you can blow out, right? And they, they, they never really blow out. They're like trick candles. What would be funny is if this game had a draw distance that reset when you got far enough away. So, like, I string trimmed this whole wall and all this back corner, but I've been far enough away that maybe it's reset. It doesn't remember that. You know, just like burnouts in certain games, like Grand uh, Theft Auto and stuff like that, you could do, like, big old cookies or burnouts, and it'll leave marks, but then you go a little further down the way, and all of a sudden those marks are gone when you come back, right? Like, that'd be the worst, because, like, your progress would reset. <laughs> that'd be, like, the worst. <laughs> Be a fun troll. Alright. I think I got all the trees. Triple check this guy. Nope. Last one. I swear I already did this one. That's what made me think of it. I wonder if it's resetting. If I can. That would be so maddening. You can only use the string trimmer for like 3% and then the other 2% that you go for your 5% is going to be reset. That'd be the worst. All right. We're cutting an entire lot. The cutting. Is there a trophy for it? Or am I reading that funky? Because I, I, I haven't cut a blade yet. I'll, I'll get out there and do it. Cutting an entire lawn with a string trimmer that is. Oh. Sand bender, done that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay. I read the other one now. I'm, 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 I'm good. I'm good. I actually have a small section of the backyard that I will cut with a string trimmer too. But my mother in law just bought an electric lawnmower after like a long time of talking about getting one. She pulled the cord and got one. Like, oh, wrong height. Crap. Uh, five to six. Your feed, my brain. I mean, who's counting? Who's really? I mean, details, right? Details. S A L S I L I N my brain. Oh, 
Oh, bam! Whoa, Chacho! Bro, chill out. Chillax there, Chach. I don't know what's happening. I just saw the last comment, so I... I maybe it was deserving, but I, I don't feel like... I don't know, you guys definitely like to clash from time to time. Clash of the Titans. Yeah, um... Uh, oh, that's terrible. That's worse, sir. Worse, sir. This grass is freaking tall! I bog out right as I say that. Dude, I'm gonna have to upgrade my engine or replace some stuff. It's hurting. It's down halfway. Halfsies. Halfsies! I'm guessing once I get done with this, it'll be BRB time. Hey! I didn't do this corner? What? This whole wall I didn't do? I didn't, 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 didn't! Whoa! said bite me. Oh my. Oh my. That's funny. I'm getting a glare from my green light behind me on my screen here. I'm like, why do I have a shiny green? Like my logo looks like it's lighting up. Apparently I didn't do this wall either. I kinda did. Kinda. <laughs> kinda. <laughs> I think that's when it was telling me I was cutting at the wrong height. <laughs> it's okay, Justin. Sometimes we're just laughing at you versus with you, but it laughs a lot. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Not everybody gets everybody's humor, that's for sure. A lot of my jokes go unlaughed at. Some blame me, some blame you, most blame Nom. You know. It's aliens. Aliens! Come on, I'm going slow. I shouldn't have to crawl at a baby's pace. Definitely got some rough terrain on this area. And I need to remember to fix my engines. It's gonna be a costly, uh, costly in between for me after this one because likely gonna have to repair Buddy's mower a wee bit. Fuel is gonna have to be replaced in both. Um, and then on top of that, um, I got my engine to replace, and then I got to pay the hundred dollar fine or fee for the training. But I think that'll be it, though. I'm curious to see if I actually got lucky because that that the way the trophy reads in the guide, if you don't do it early, it might be kind of hard to do. But I feel like I did it real early. It was like super early. I mowed like ten lawns and then hired a guy. It's pretty early. I mean, I could have been paying a guy to do nothing for a couple of weeks while I mowed lawn, but I had to have a, a, a space to put a uh, mower for him, which required a pretty large upgrade for my homestead, my home base. Possibility I might get my Starry Night Lego set today. It says it's not supposed to be here till Wednesday, but it checked into a local FedEx thing like Saturday or maybe even Friday. So I feel like it's not on a truck out for delivery according to things, so it might be probably tomorrow. 
but it could have gotten thrown in. Could have gotten thrown in and be out for delivery by now. But I guess at the latest it should be here by Wednesday. And I do think my wife and I will build that one together. The Starry Night, which is the Van Gogh. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Mega Bear did it again with your trigger word on. Did he? <laughs> He's probably doing it on purpose now. It's probably like, if I type this the wrong way, Brian will come and bring people with fury as well. No such thing as bad press, right? <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's on purpose at this point. I mean, a lot of people don't care or, you know... He's also one of those guys that likes to post, like, moist memes. You know, just because somebody gets triggered by, you know what I mean? Like, he's definitely one of those guys. So, um, you know, very possible. Boy, the wind is blowing enough that this grass is, like, waving at me. It's waving by as I devour it. Yeah, there's that weird spot in the ground right there. I don't know why. Remember when I was playing on Xbox and I bought the bag mower and I had to like literally like empty the bag like all the time? Psh, what a silly noob move that was. Gotta get our mulch on! Mulching is supposed to be pretty good for your mo uh, for your lawn. Like it's supposed to be like a natural fertilizer. It's supposed to something about it too. Like by not taking your clippings with likely fertilizers and other pesticides and whatever things that people spray on their yards and dumping them in grounds. Like I guess it helps prevent algae blooming and stuff too. I don't really fully understand that. But my under, but my thought is, is that by not dumping the quote unquote contaminated stuff, right? Like the the juiced up, the stuff that's got fertilizer or any kind of like weed killer roundup, any of that on it. But I, that might not have anything to do with it. But I, I did read that mulching is supposed to help prevent blooms. But of course, people were like, "Why is it going to prevent blooms?" I don't understand. But I was one of those people. Um, I'm sure somebody knows. Or raised is probably Googling to inform us all right now. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I just know that our new mower, the electric one, is a mulcher. Does not have a bag. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet deal. I guess you can buy a mulching blade if your mower is was originally a. You know, like a bag. You, you can go and, like, for, like, 12 bucks, you can buy a different blade and put it on and just roll around with the mulching blade on a, you know, take the bag off. Apparently, it's just different cut, different angle, like, different something. Sharper, maybe? I'll have to now, gee, thanks. Are we all curious? We all want to know what, what causes the algae blooms? I remember like two years ago, three years ago, we had such al bad algae blooms in the water, we couldn't drink our water for like, I don't know, a month and a half, two months. We've had some weird like stints like that. I mean, we had the smoke where we couldn't go outside. We had the water, we had the fro, everything was frozen, no power, no nothing for like four days, five days. We've definitely been through some extremes in the last couple of years. You know, I remember as a kid having a power outage just last a few hours and having to get candles and stuff, but like, I don't really remember any of the other stuff, right? Like, that's all new to me. Joey, good luck, bro. I hope everything pans out, whatever's going on. I'll get filled in at some point. But, uh, much love, dude. Thanks for hanging out. Chickity, chickity, chickity. Holy cow. Holy cannoli. Clay, Clay Thompson said that uh, being interviewed after the uh, after winning the championship this year. Holy cannoli. 
It's very PG, very appropriate thing. I don't think, I don't know that Michael has, or uh, not Michael, but uh, I don't think Clay has any kids. Clay is Michael's kid, but I don't think Clay has any kids. I don't even think Clay's, I don't know. That might be one of those, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that was crazy when we had the, the smoke. Well, the air quality was so bad you shouldn't even be outside for like, that was like two weeks because all those fires. Yeah, I've never seen nothing like that. I've, I've been through fires like, I remember seeing like red moons and things and being freaked out because of smoke and stuff in the air. But not like that not red sky like straight up red sky those videos that i posted when that happened i still look at them and i, I like don't believe it literally looks like some post-apocalyptic movie like there's no way that was real there's no way you weren't using a filter but it was real and there was no filter like that was just the most insane stuff and what you see on the cameras was red but it wasn't like what you saw with your own eyes at least for me it was like Holy cow. Stuff's crazy. And hopefully we don't see that again. There, there's talk that we're supposed to have a really dry, hot summer again here and that fires are already being talked about. But, I mean, most of the damage in those areas that it happened, I don't think it could... I don't think there's a lot left to burn. Most of it's gone. What's up, Confused Cryptid? Welcome to the stream. All right, almost 34%, so we're just over the third mark, which, uh, boy. Man, I think my engine condition is really killing me here, you guys, and it's only getting worse. Like, I'm trying to keep it under two mile an hour on this stretch right here, but it's tough. Yeah, Michael, uh, over 2,000 cows died in the Kansas heat wave in the last week or so. I did read that as well. And it was confirmed that it was heat, not like some weird disease or something else. Um, I mean, I guess it's kind of a, that's more of a symptom than a disease, I guess, but hot. I mean, I don't know if that meant you could just like walk up and cut off a burger ready to go or a steak or how that worked, but cooked. Oh no! Whew. Wasn't sure I was gonna get out of there. Pre barbecue, yeah. Pre pre ready to go. <laughs> Already cooked beef. No, I mean uh, it's probably not really a laughing matter as you know, two thousand cows. I'm sure that produces a lot of burger, a lot of steak, and I mean. Families, farms probably took a big loss there. And, and then you, you got to figure that there's all that meat that was going to be on the market shelves that isn't, which is probably going to push the meat prices up higher, too. I don't know if that'll be specific to that area, you know, because there are big farms that kind of cater to each region in, in essence. Uh, not not totally true. And I'm sure there's some cross dimensional beef, but um <laughs> really I I think that it's, most of it's regional for freshness and all that too right like yeah you can freeze it but everybody's really proud of that no, never frozen beef like Wendy's and in and out and there's a lot of places that are you know uh, Baja fresh they like their chicken not frozen and stuff too I think they probably have like pork and beef too I guess I never get that there but yeah lot lots of money lost which will likely hit us at some form right? I heard that in the next couple of weeks, we might actually see a plateauing or maybe even a slight drop with fuel prices because the demand is getting lesser and less. Like, like everybody went out for Memorial Day. We Everybody drove all over. It's summertime. People are filling up, going places. Like, I guess some of that's starting to slow down now. I think some people's pocketbooks are starting to get the bottom, right? And they're like, beginning of the month, they're like, ah, we'll fill up twice a day. It doesn't matter. We'll drive as much as we want. Now it's getting towards like the end of the month. Everyone's like, 
Yeah, we shouldn't have done that. We should probably only filled up. <laughs> probably should have walked a little bit or maybe not gone to the extra, you know. Like there's that big Leavenworth Volkswagen cruise. That's a five and a half hour drive for me. That's a lot of miles to cover. And then there wasn't any really, there wasn't like a big show or anything this year. Like it was held by different people and it was just a different thing. And like, I was just not trying to spend hundreds of dollars to go stay. So, and then pay hundreds of dollars to stay there. Right, because hotels aren't cheap. And uh, it would have been like a seven or $800 weekend. Not to mention, you know, well, probably food included in that, but. That's just crazy to think about though. Every time I'm like, all right, I gotta speed things up. I gotta get going a little faster. I hit these two end points. And I just can't go. What's up, Roro? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by today. Hey. So I, I know I mentioned last week that my uh, one of my best friends growing up, his uh, dad was uh, rushed to the hospital and had to have a kind of an emergency appendectomy and uh, he was released and went home the next day his wife left to go meet the kids uh, and my 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 friend and his wife and they went to Disney World and on the second day that they were there um, they found out that the dad, or, or my, my friend's dad and the grandpa um, who stayed behind and didn't go to Disney World um, he had to go back to the hospital and they started doing a bunch of tests and he has some sort of a, 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 a an infection I, I want to say it's a blood infection which is actually causing extra heart problems uh, I think I mentioned last time I talked to he, he was a big time smoker when I was young. I don't know if he ever quit. Um, but, uh, you know, the, like, for reals, like, real talk, that Fox Kids Club commercial that I've been trying to bring back from the dead that I talk about here and there, me being an original, I got that because of him. Like, he was the guy that worked at Fox that was like, hey, I've got two kids that would be in it. My neighbor is also a model. He would like to be in it. You know, and so, like, if it was, I would have never been a Fox Kid Club if it weren't for Ray. And, you know, I'm just kind of holding my breath, hoping that whatever's going on will be something that he can recover from and make it home. And I know my friend Jason's probably stressing out, too. I haven't talked to him. They just got back from Disney, I think, yesterday. Um, so I, I will likely reach out to him today and see how how it's going and, and uh, I haven't talked to him in a while anyways we're overdue for a phone call hey what is going on there that must be the swoop yep it is that's where I go too fast it's leaving grass behind I'll go ahead and take care of that now Ooh, and your mom's surgery was canceled well is that a is that good or was it for like other reasons like needing to reschedule it or maybe the doctor was sick that day or something like that because that wouldn't be necessarily ideal. I know that, like, uh, one of the Preston bros had a surgery at one point, and it got delayed. Uh, and, and that was not ideal, because they had gone through a lot of steps to, to, to take that. And then the doctor was sick or something. So, uh, doesn't always work. Whoa. Somebody is making what I believe to be bacon. Bacon, bacon with bacon. I don't know, maybe the doctor is sick, I guess. I, who knows? I mean, Chacho will tell us if there's a reason. And, and I mean, you know, maybe she just doesn't need the surgery right now or something too, right? Like there's always the possibility that maybe a second opinion came in or a, a test was taken before the surgery and they realize, hey, levels are good or whatever was happening isn't happening or whatever, right? There's all sorts of scenarios that it could be. Oh boy, I don't think I'm gonna finish this in eight minutes, which would be the ideal BRB time. But, you know, 
we can stretch it out a little here, though, Lair. But, I mean, I'm over halfway done, but I think I was, uh... I think it was about 27 minutes to the hour before, which now we got 8 minutes to the hour, and I only a little hour halfway done. I feel like it's going to be about 10 after when I get to the BRB. I'm like, ah! See, every time I try to speed it up in a flat stretch, it's like, nah. Still haven't heard from my paint guy yet, either. You guys remember I took my car in and had to jump through a bunch of hoops to get my paint code and find all these things and then he gave me the quotes and I was super happy with them and so we were gonna maybe do my trunk and my hood but I decided just to do my trunk right now because I don't really need to do my hood um, and uh, he's like yeah no worries I'll just check my shop and schedule and get back to you that's been uh, Thursday will be at least two weeks if not three I can't remember I think it's only been two and I, and I did tell him, like, I'm not in a hurry or whatever, but, like, I'd love to get it scheduled because I also have to line it up and try to get my car in at another shop because uh, part of the stuff that's being painted is going to be wrapped and uh, with vinyl. And I don't want them... So I don't want my painter to reassemble my hatch completely because they need to take some of it off to wrap it and it's cheaper for me to not have to pay the guys. Plus, it's just better to not have to take things on and off and on and off and on and off again. Because they almost always never go on the same way. Which is why I'm not doing a full wrap on my car. I've had enough bumpers and stuff taken off to, and not line up and fenders and things. And not like that. I don't really want to mess with that. And, and the rest of my paint's in pretty good shape. And I very much like the white, the, the pearl white that I have. Um, so to hear why only 17 people uh that's just how it is man you go watch any of any streamer that's not like one of the top 10 streamers they have way more subs than they have people watching it's just unfortunately how it works out and it's likely because most of those people that are subbed are watching some of those big channels or are working or are at school or there's a number of reasons but um you know 17 to 25 is about average for our streams uh, we've seen as high as 100, and we've seen as low as zero. But uh, this is definitely right about average. And w we would always love to see more. I mean, financially, more sort of kind of leads to more, you know, monetized situations. But uh, we definitely like the small sort of, uh, you know, family that hangs out every day. Because most of the people that are here right now are here on almost every day. So... We fans, we hang out. They watch me either succeed or struggle at games. <laughs> and for what it's worth, I've been streaming for three years and I do believe this is the first time I've seen you in a stream. So a lot of it's just, you know, uh, people got stuff going on, right? But like, I, I know there, there's a couple other people that are fairly similar to like the content and whatever, right? And like one of them has like 300,000 subs and he's got about the same amount as we do when he streams. You know, I got, there's another dude that I watch every once in a while, just, or, or I really check in on, I don't really watch. Um, you know, he's got over a million subs, different content than what I have, but over a million subs. Dude rocks about a hundred, hundred people. Uh, so, I mean, that's crazy to think that like, you have a million subs and only a hundred people. But I mean, mathematically speaking, percentage wise, uh, it probably is pretty similar to what we pull in. And, you know, hey, I wish I could tell you why we only see the people we see. Um, my guess is a lot of people probably don't care about lawn mowing simulator in today's case. Um, you know, in other cases. What's weird, too, is I had more people retweet or like the tweet of me getting a platinum trophy last week on a game that most people had never heard of than the people that showed up and watched it. Like, it was weird that people were, like, so, and most of the people I don't even think were following us on Twitter. It was, like, I think the hashtag found its way into a new, you know, unsuspecting group. Like, a, a bunch of people that I don't normally reach, right? Um, so, yeah, so it's hard to say. I mean, uh, like I said, we, we are not sad or upset about our numbers at all, like... Uh, would they be, you know, could they be better? Absolutely. Uh, will they someday? Maybe. 
Uh, we're not, we're not like losing any sleep over it though. It, it seems to be a real common question. People show up and they're like, why do you only have 17 people watch? But, I don't know. And, and honestly, almost every time that's said, it's by somebody who we've never seen before. So it's kind of funny. Like I always try to like flip it around. Like, well, it's cause you're not here. If you would have been here all these times, we would have had 18 people. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so and it's just, you know, real life first is one of our mottos around here. Uh, whether it be school, work, you know, people, a lot of people watch and work at the same time. Um, you know, some people have the luxury of being home or maybe are in a different time zone, like across the planet from us. And it's already evening time for them or, you know, different, different things for different peeps. But yeah, it's weird. Uh, we've sort of hit, I don't want to say bottom, but like, you know, we're in that low for not only watch time, but also um, the advertisement time is really low right now. June, July, May, June, July is some of those like the lowest months um, as far as because, you know, people aren't like companies aren't as interested in trying to market things right now. You know, school's coming to an end. So you're not seeing school stuff being advertised, uh, you know summer is different for everybody so everything is different for everybody there is definitely things being marketed and advertised but not like it is say around christmas or even super bowl super bowl is another huge time because you know lots of money gets spent on tvs and you know party favors and foods and uh what penalty really but um uh, you know i think we've hit our bottom which uh, is good because, um, you know, like I mentioned a week or so ago, if it kept going the way it was going, I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep going. Um, but uh, things have sort of, I don't know, smoothed, smoothed themselves out for the time being. And, and then I feel like the good news is, is that it's all up from here. It's kind of how I think about it. So uh, from, from that standpoint, it's positive. But yeah, I mean, if we had instead of a thousand views on average after like a week for a stream if we had 10,000 views or a hundred thousand views I mean that's game changing for us I mean that that literally would be game I mean that would be game changing for others too. let help out you know like I mean I don't know what kind of money that would be but if I'm literally making 10 times the amount of views than I currently am on everything I'm doing I would imagine the money would be at least five times you know what I mean so like um, you know, I would definitely be able to uh, do things differently. Let's see here. Yeah. Real, that going to be good. All right. Ooh, it's officially noon. And we are 75% done. So I, I was right. I, it's going to be probably about 10 minutes over, which is not a big deal. Like, it's not slotted in that I have to take a break at noon, but uh, usually the halfway point. And it's usually dependent on my uh, my tank <laughs> and, and its need to be drained. In this case, uh, I'm doing all right. I got a late start due to the late audio being recorded and everything. I got just everything was behind. So, like, I didn't even actually gr grab my clean and start drinking until... Uh, the premiere was up, which the last couple of weeks I've been eating at like eight thirty nine 9 o'clock. So before before premiere. So uh, everything's offset a little bit, which is fine. 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 I mean, 75 point. Oops. 75 percent. All right. Coming around here. <laughs> uh oh. Hey, what's up, Ferris? Did I miss something, or is that just being too spammy for your likings? All right. Almost to that 80%. You know, I have not ever, like, packed up early and left, you know, to see what happens. I, I don't want my rating to go down or anything but like I'm curious if you if I left at like 80% right now do I get the full pay do I get like a third of the pay like 
Um, you know what I mean? Chickadee, chickadee, chickadee. Every time, I don't know why, I don't, every time I hear that, it reminds me of Randy Bobandy. Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. <laughs> Listen real carefully, that bird's saying cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. Why don't you play Lego again? Uh, somebody else want to cover that? I feel like I might be mean if I respond to that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Chacho, Chacho understands my pain. Um, so uh, we are still playing Lego. Um, we, we just uploaded a video on Saturday. We'll be uploading another one tomorrow. Um, and then there'll be another one on Saturday as well. Uh, definitely Lego being played. Lots of Lego being talked about. Um, definitely been releasing a lot of Skywalker Saga stuff. Um, up until the last 10 days or so, it was like literally like every day or every other day a video. Sometimes two videos a day even. Um... But for the free roam, we have slowed down a little bit. We do have a free roam plans video. I highly recommend checking that out as a lot of people have a lot of questions about what's happening, but don't want to watch the video to explain what's happening. You know, some people don't know what it's there. In all fairness, I, I can understand that too. But that helps having the notification bell and subscribe stuff all figured out and locked in as, uh, you know, our notifications going out will certainly help notify you when stuff is. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I play that Lego watch. Yeah, so um, Yeah, we, we don't just play Lego like there's not enough of that to just play every day Unfortunately, they're not really making games fast enough for us to I mean we beat them pretty fast really I mean we this one's the biggest one yet And it's gonna take another month or two for us to finish it at the rate We are but we could have been done already and our guide writer is done and has been done already you know, same with our, you know, Kirsten, our mod. She's been streaming it, but she could have been done weeks ago, too, had she not taken her time and, you know, paced. It, like, there's just a lot to do, and it's very repetitive. But, yeah, uh, sadly, there's only one other not announced TT game that's being made. We don't know what it is yet. And then there's a sports game and a driving game that's been announced, but we don't know what they are or when they're coming. or and We just know that they're in the works. But, um Ultimately, yeah, we will likely get back to a Sunday Lego stream again, too. But not likely until the majority of summer is over, if not all the way over. Um, and, and I say that because, um, you know, it opens up or closes opportunities, you know, depending on how you look at it, for us to do things on the weekends and stuff. So, uh, but I do plan on bringing it back. Sunday will return, um, you know, like... HTGTV? I don't know if it'll return, but Sunday Lego streams will return. Uh, I thought about doing an impromptu one, thought about really throwing people off and like, tell me if you think this is cheeky. Lego Brawls has been announced for consoles. It's been out for a long time on Apple Arcade and I have yet to play it. Now, if I played it right now, I feel like there's a lot of people that know Brawls is coming out that are gonna expect me to be playing it on my console. Is that cheeky? Does that seem like I'd be like clickbaiting almost? Or is that fair? I, I, I don't know. I thought about doing a Sunday stream and playing brawls and just seeing, you know. Or I could just wait until consoles come out and do it then. Lego Brawls is a mobile game. It's a mobile Lego game that's been on Apple Arcade for quite some time that's coming to consoles. It's sort of like a Super Smash Bros type of game. Um, you know, kind of like the Nickelodeon one too that was just free for PS Plus members. You know, it's not something I expect myself to be very high on or play a lot. It'll probably get a couple of streams, would be my guess. Two or three. Who knows? I may absolutely love it. If it's like a 
five or twenty dollar game and we all get it and we all play it we all love it i don't see why i wouldn't play the crap out of it but i mean ultimately i don't see that necessarily being the case like i could see kirsten and gray and todd and a bunch of our beeps getting it raised perhaps even um but you know there will be some factors like you know will it be cross platform or you know some games like among us you can play on console and on your phone on mobile you know, if it's something like that, where people with Apple Arcade on their Apple devices can play as well, it might open up some possibilities. I don't know, it may complicate things because communications won't be there. It's just, there's a lot of moving parts that we'll have to just wait and see. No me, no me, no me, no me, no me. Speaking of gnomes, dare I ask how Plants vs. Zombies is going, Chacho? And, and Chacho, if he's bothering you, you know, maybe just block him. I mean, it won't hurt his feelings, I'm sure. And if if, if what he's saying is, is upsetting you, I mean, it, it is... I mean, it is what it is, but, um, you know, you do you, but that's simple solution. You can always block them. Uh, I really like you. I nice. Hey, I appreciate the sub. I appreciate the love. Uh, if you did it recently, it'll show up on screen here in a second, which would be kind of cool. Got those live notifications coming through. At least they're supposed to be. They don't always work like they're supposed to. Alright, I'm back it up. Back it up. Back, back it up. Alright. I'll go ahead and take out this patch here. Thank you very much. And. I don't know. Sometimes it's a little delayed. It may pop up soon. Sometimes it goes in chunks, too. It looks like I missed one. Hunting has subscribed. Thanks for the sub, Hunting. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully you enjoy our content. So that was 18 minutes ago. It's a 19 minutes ago now. Slacker. All right, we almost done. Okay, let's make the close pass here. We can put one wheel up there, one wheel. My name? You know my name. You should know my name. My first name is HTG. My middle name is Brian. <laughs> nice. Getting closer. To that platinum. Yeah, I thought about torturing myself again and pulling out the Xbox version of it. Pretty sure it's on Game Pass. Five, five. That's actually a radio station around here. 95.5? Seriously. I don't know if anybody listens to that anymore, but... The game is boring. How dare you say that about Lawn Mowing Simulator? This game is amazing! It's so soothing and, like, just fun. And, and not to mention, like, there's, there's some tactics. There's some tactics, like how you mow, what type of mower... Like, I don't know what the day is in the game, but i am got to be coming up to 4th of July, and they're supposed to be, like, a driving American-made mower, mow the lawn on the 4th of July with them. Like, that's crazy. Some of the stuff is, is odd, but tactical.
Oh my gosh. I gotta pick up these clippings. I don't wanna get fined. I wanna make that money. Gotta make that money, man. This is a mission. I, I, I actually probably missed the time that they wanted me to mow it in. It was probably like 35 or something minutes. Uh, 26 minutes. <laughs> I'm at 48 right now. But it's largely due to the fact that I have sort of a small mower deck. But it's the only one I can afford right now because I'm sort of in the up and ups. Oh, this game is a lot of fun. I definitely recommend getting it. It's... Uh, free right now if you have PS Plus Premium tier. It was on uh, Game Pass. I believe it still is for free as well if you have the Game Pass. And otherwise, it's like $20 or less, I think. And that's just fun. I mean, it's just one of those, like, you know, like the Power Washer Simulator 2 is something that I plan on getting into. I got to get my PC set up again for streams. But hopefully that won't be too difficult. Just a couple of layers, I think, and then I should be good. I tried to set it up the other day, though, and it didn't work. So um, I may have to hire me a nom to come and do this for me. He did assist last time, although I, I most of the stuff I did on my own, there was a few things that were way out of my comfort zone, like the multi-screen stuff. Because I... Uh, I want to figure out how to do a multi PC setup. Like I'd love my stream PC to use its power to legit just stream, not to compute the the actual game. I'd love to use my Alienware as my gaming computer. And I know there's some way you can piggyback. I've been using that word a lot lately. Uh, there's some way that you can jump in two computers and have like a two PC setup. Like I have a two PC setup but not in the way that I'm referring to it as. All right, c -c -c complete. All right, so park it like it's not, park it like it's not. Go ahead and get out, we'll fill the fuel, and then we'll hop in. All right. Yeah, that one was a little bit of a longy. 48 minutes. It's not the longest one, though. We've definitely had, like, two-hour-long ones. Um, all right, so we're a ways away from unlocking our next rank there. Let's go ahead and purchase our adverts again. Something I do every time, and then when this one's out, I replenish it. Same with this one. Um, we got a couple more days on this one. It looks like we got it says 10, 20 days on that one. So printed media is on sixth day, so we have 14 more days, two more weeks. This one's on a five-day, and uh, Power Wash Sim is coming Xbox. No. Is it really? I, I I bought it for uh, PC a while ago. I've had it because Reese has it, and and I wanted to play. It's co-op now. You can co-op wash. <laughs> That's what's awesome. That's what's up. And uh, Tyler's here. Now's your chance to thank Tyler for all the work he put into our guides, not only on TSS but others as well. July fourteenth on Game Pass, huh? Huh. Well, uh, I still want to get my PC stuff set up again because it got reverted when whatever happened. Slobs. Slobs had to go through that rebrand. I don't know if you remember that. And they're still not completely changed, but it used to be Streamlabs online broadcasting software, which OBS, right? Like that is somebody else's name. Even though it's like free to use, um, they didn't want their name being exploited like that. And a lot of people like me thought I was actually using like the premium version of OBS, but it turns out they were completely different pieces of software using basically the same code and then using the same name almost too. So they had to re and, and during that process, I unfortunately had to change a bunch of stuff and I lost my PC setting. So uh, as I mentioned earlier, it has something to do with, cause I have the two screens right now. So like my hard part is getting it to recognize the window that is displaying the game. And I spent about five minutes on it. Went, nah, I'm not going to do this right now, but Hey, speaking of five minutes, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to take a quick break. So I'll be back in about five to 10 minutes and no fares. This is what we're playing today. If you don't like it, that's that's up to you to choose. Uh, but this is what we're playing. So uh, we have a pretty strict schedule. We don't jump games in the middle of a stream. Not traditionally. I, I maybe has happened once or twice, but not likely. But hey, uh, guys, I'll be right back.
What's up? What the crap? Sorry. So I've got my doctor's office keeps calling. It's for Reese, though. I just literally had the talk with my wife about this. Funny because I was like, hey, you know, they're going to call me again today. Make sure he calls. She's like, oh, I forgot all about that. I'll go have him do it right now. So hopefully that'll be sorted out. But I literally just missed the call. According to this, I don't know if it was lighting up behind me or not, but I heard it. <laughs> um, all right. So we is back and uh, we're going to mow some more lawns. And uh, let's see here. I got a message coming through. Let's see here. Yeah. Yep. 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 Okay. We are back and ready to go. Let's go ahead and jump over here and train buddy on his last level. I think, I think building pyramid of okay, the Minecraft survival scale. He's... Wow. That's a lot of work, bro. That's a lot of work. Okay. So management, I think if I complete this next couple of tasks, let's say it'd be great if there was a litter one for me too. Nope. Nope. Okay, so let's put Buddy on the most expensive one. <laughs> okay, and before we do it, though, let's fix our stuff. Uh, maintenance, vehicle repair. Well, yeah, but full repair. So it was, it was actually in pretty good shape for overall, but this one, not so much. Yeah, buddy. Blades, full repair, 70 cents. Let's go. Okay, so let's go to the other one. Maintenance, uh, petrol, refuel, got to Gotta get it full. Gotta get it full. Blade repair is good. Engine repair is good. And okay, so we are all good on that dynamic. So we'll put Buddy on the biggie. No. Oh. And then we'll put uh, yes. Then we'll put me on uh, this little guy. All right. Yes, that is my name. Don't wear it out. I need to get a hold of Skyhook and be like, yo, give me some more thumbnails. I need some better thumbnails. They've been following and, and liking pretty much every tweet every week. So I feel like, whoa. Ah, got some black pheasants over there. Dude, you guys. I, I don't remember this layout. I don't remember mowing this lawn like this. I I, I thought I picked a, an oldie, but but I'm not recognizing this layout. It's a lot of ups and downs. Look at this. Up and down. Up and down. Is this chick coops? That crap? Maybe I have played this one. I don't remember. I, I don't think I have, though. Most of the ones that have, like, the gazebos you come out of. Like, I don't remember this one at all. When did I start playing this game? Well, this is the fifth stream. So five weeks ago, I started playing on this save. We played it uh, quite a while ago back on the Xbox when it was on Game Pass. It probably still is. Um, but that was a, a, a while, a couple, of, I don't know, four or five months ago. And let's see here. We need five and a half. Uh... Gotta go here. Uh, what day do you play? Right now we are uploading Lego videos on Saturdays and possibly on Tuesdays and Thursdays as well. But for sure on Saturdays. So like, uh, basically there's some shorter videos where I do like planets or do some purchasing of things and for the people who follow along I found it better to split those up into separate videos versus having them be uh, tied into because like if somebody watches like video A and then video C but they miss B if I do stuff in B sometimes they're like what the crap how'd you get that or why how come I don't have that well you didn't follow along that's why but um, anyways so uh, I've split a lot of things up into their separate videos, like challenges get their own videos too, which um, we have a challenge that'll be uploaded tomorrow. And then Thursday, I don't have anything for Thursday this week, 
but then we have a video Saturday. And then we also have uh, a video for Tuesday and Thursday next week. And then another video Saturday. And then there's a Tuesday video. And then a Saturday and then a Tuesday and a Thursday video. And then a Saturday video. And then I think I'm all caught up. I think I've told you all the stuff that I've done. That's about as far as I've got. I've done quite a few videos that have not been released yet, but uh, they will be soon enough. People are also asking, why haven't you added them to the end screen links or to the playlist? If they're done, you always let us access those. Well, because I'm not ready for you to see them yet. <laughs> That's basically it. I'm, I'm trying to get through as much of this free roam as possible before a lot of it releases. Because if I have to, if I make some mistakes or if I end up, there is a possibility that things may go wrong still. And I may squash the whole free roam and just delete the videos. Very unlikely. But, uh, you know, but I also have a PS4 save that I've been playing on, so I can always revert and potentially do recaptures or whatever there, too. Whoops! But ultimately, it's going pretty easy. Like, the free roam is, like, really easy. It's just really time-consuming. And, like I said earlier, out of all of it, out of all 100% of the free roam, there's probably, like, 2% of it that's needing help with. But... The 2% may be different for everybody. Your 2% may be different than my 2%. You know? You know, like, uh, certain people are having troubles with certain missions. Other people are not. And that might be related to the order in which people did stuff. It might be related to uh, just not being aware of what's around them. But there, there's a lot of things that it could be. It's hard to say. Like I said, everybody's journey is going to be a little bit different. But uh, for the most part, Saturday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays would be the days I'd be looking for LEGO content. For sure, Saturdays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays are maybes. There's definitely a few of them coming up, so. It's good. It's good. And then, <clears throat> ultimately, too, once I get to a certain point, um, or, or, and it'll likely be when I get back from my vacation, um, I will uh, likely put them all in the playlist, the, the, all of them that are done. Um, and then have them linkable through the end screen links too. But until I get uh, back from my vacation, I don't see that being a thing. In fact, actually, I got to make sure I even... I didn't even add the end screen link to Tuano. So I got to make sure I do that. But we've actually hit over 100 videos for LEGO Star Wars TSS. And we still have projected at least 50 more left. So we're, if you throw in a couple of random trophy achievements, plus a couple of extra challenges that I haven't accounted for in that number, uh, we're probably gonna be closer to 165, 175 for total videos for this game. But it's also gonna be another month or two before I get those all done. So uh, I'm just not, obviously I wanted to get back to the stream schedule. Um, and get to streaming some other games. It was kind of torturous playing one game every day, seven days a week for like seven weeks, six weeks, seven weeks before I started streaming again. I mean, that's really like I only I played Apex once or twice during that time, but that's it. And other than that, I hadn't played any other game, nothing but Lego Star Wars. And uh, man, my little brain was just like on overload. My buddy Greg's got his car almost roadworthy. I'm hoping to make some content in our cars, too, which might lead to other people we know. He has actually a couple of cars. And, and, and technically, I have access to a few, too. Um, you know, if we were to start doing videos on cars, like, uh, you know, I've got a, a Porsche Cayenne Turbo that I have access to. Um, I have uh, an AMG. I think it's the C. 60, which is like not really a fast car, but it's like sort of a unique car in the sense that like it has some pretty unique interior um, and uh, there's only so many of them with this interior package and, and the car is pretty sweet too um, you know, and then my buddy's got his R32 that he's been rebuilding which is pretty sweet, awesome ride and he's also got a Q5 an Audi Q5 um, 
And uh, I think it's even the SQ-5. I'm pretty sure it's the SQ-5. Um, so, you know, there's a handful. There's four, four or five cars plus my GTI. And, and um, uh, hopefully soon the ID4. That thing's supposed to have 300 horsepower. It's all-wheel drive, so it's going to be, like, really quick 0 to 60s and 60-foot 60 times. And uh, Top end, my GTI would likely smoke it, but, like, ultimately off the line, I bet you the ID4 is going to be way faster than my GTI. Why don't I do a chatting video with my subscribers? See, th this just further shows that you are new. Um, once a month, we actually do what we call a game break. And it's always on the last day of the month. And we talk about past, present, future HTG things and just hang out. So there's no game being played. It's just us sort of chatting. There's usually an agenda. We cover a certain things. I usually show like some things that happen in my personal life, like slideshows or short videos or whatever, whether it be like trips to the beach or hanging out with the dogs or, you know, we've had various things over the years, but we definitely do those. But they get less attention than our regular videos. So, uh, you know, that, uh, that's why we do them once a month. Because we didn't want to, like, shut them out or do anything. You know, like, forget about them. But, like, we also find that they're not super uh, attended. Att attended. <laughs> Attentive? Attended. But, yeah, so we, we definitely do that. We, we, we do a lot of stuff. We, you know, we uh, we have tons of unboxings and uh, product reviews, and we've got Lego builds. Uh, most of that stuff just doesn't really crush it in the view department. And, uh, you know, a lot of those things were things we purchased on our own. Some of the things were things that were gifted to us by companies or developers. And uh, in the end... <laughs> It got really expensive to do all those uh, Lego builds and everything. Like, Dimensions was crazy. We did a bunch of Dimensions stuff when that was coming out. That was a pretty expensive adventure. All right, 26% already. Eight minutes. Ah, of course we're hitting some... Blah, 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 blah. I have not built Optimus. He's sitting behind me. I thought about doing it yesterday, just hanging out with the wife and pulling out the table and building it. But I thought, you know, there's a possibility that, you know, we might build it on stream. Uh, honestly, though, four hours is the standard stream time. Um, I thought about maybe building it on Wednesday because I currently don't have a Wednesday game lined up. However, my wife just asked me to uh, partake in something... She's like, you stream Wednesday? And I was like, yeah, I don't have a game yet. She's like, oh, okay, cool. Then we should go do this. And I was like, well, I was going to find a game. She's like, oh, well, if you're working, then don't worry about it. But so I, I don't know. I might, I might, uh, I might not stream on Wednesday. I don't know. My biggest thing is, is that uh, I'm old and I don't do a lot of Lego building right now. Uh, I, I have built sets in the last month or two, but nothing crazy like Red 5, and then, uh, well, was Red 5 my last build? It might have been. So it's been a couple months since I've done any builds. Um, and my old arthritis-based fingies, they can't really handle more than, like, an hour and a half, two hours. So I thought about splitting it up into two, right? Like, doing, like, a part one and a part two. Uh, but, like, camera views are kind of a pain. I don't have a solid... Like, I have an aerial cam and then my normal cam, which is kind of an aerial cam in itself. Um, like the one you're seeing me on right now. But I have the one that, like, looks straight down. But that view is not very good. So I'd have to find, like, a side view or something. But there's always, like, junk or something in the way. Or, you know, the lighting's not right. Or uh, conflicts with my microphone. Or... You know, there's like these small little reasons that sort of prevent that from being a easy fix. Although I, I, if I could find my tripod for the Logitech cam, I might be able to like work it up over the keyboard or something with like the legs. And then I could still access everything and not have to really rearrange everything. But uh, it can be done. It's just a matter of how much I want to. Let's see here. Yeah, I used to stream on Thursdays. I, I, I Thursday's my day off. 
Uh, and, and technically, it, it, it's been my day off because I, I usually stream on Sundays. So I get Thursday and Saturday off, and then I stream five days a week, and then I usually upload it on those two off days. So, I mean, we're always busy. Like, I, again, I know you're new to the channel, but uh, all these things that you're suggesting are things that have been done for years. I mean, we've been on YouTube for over a decade. And, um, you know, we've been streaming for about, shush, I mean, every day for three plus years. Um, you know, when did we start? Like, we, we streamed probably four and a half years ago. We were playing Fortnite when, like, early season, like, two and three, like, early stuff. Um, long time ago. We played a little bit of Call of Duty Blackout, too. So that's how long ago that was. Like, that's a long time ago. Um, cause that, that game's not even around anymore? I, I'm pretty sure it's not. They changed it to uh, Warzone. And now I think it's only Warzone. Right now, our, we're streaming Monday, Wednesday, Friday. that, And then we upload Saturday and possibly Tuesday and Thursday. So lots of content, lots of work, lots of effort being put in. Countless hours. Lego Star Wars is, you know, our, our main project right now, along with streaming. We're sort of 50-50 splitting that stuff. And the free roam and the planet work is, you know, videos are roughly an hour long. And um, lots of collectibles in that hour, lots of labels, lots of graphics, lots of stuff. Like, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm working 12 to 16 hours, probably five days a week. You know, if you include thumbnail creation and chatting with the premiere page and tagging and titling and all the rendering and audio I cut, like, definitely not a slouch. I'm definitely not. <laughs> I, I, when I look back in a few years, I'm not going to go, man, I wish I would have put in a little more effort. If anything, I'm going to say, man, I missed out on Reese's teenage years. I wish I would have put in less effort. Like, honestly. Because um, there's definitely some grindy days that I've had over the last few years where, you know, he's got friends and things to do, so it's not like he was left for, you know, complete boredom or anything. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just getting to that point where he's going to be leaving the house here in a year. That's crazy. It's crazy. Maybe, Chacho. I don't even have time to play myself right now. As you guys have heard me say, I my my only real free time to play Apex, which is my game of choice that I would play as much as possible if I could, has been on Friday on stream days, which isn't even our normal stream day for Apex. But I, like, slid it in there because, you know, that's when people are available and uh, really the only time I have in my, uh, my calendar. Like, I just don't have any time. But, you know, I... There is some minutes in my day that I could put into work or doing other things, but like I have a life too. I have a family, like I just mentioned. Like I'm already missing out on some of Reese's teenage years. From I mean, I'm here, but I'm I'm up here in the office working. So this grass is super tall. I don't know what they're using to to make it grow, but man, it's already messing up my engine, bro. That's how tall it is. That's awesome. Lord of the Rings was a series we did like what seven, eight years ago. Long time. <laughs> yeah, like two tonight. Tude and I haven't caught a game together and probably closing in on three months. Gray and I haven't caught a game together and probably closing on a month and a half. Uh, he was going to join us for Apex the other day, but he ended up deciding to do other stuff. And then, uh, and then Nam, and, Nam and Paz were my guys. And uh, yeah, so it's just crazy. Like, I, I mean... It'll all change. It, the cycle comes and goes, right? Like, 
It's been a while since I've had a big project, so I'm not complaining by any means. It's just different. Um, you know, and, and even though the videos are only getting released, you know, a couple times a week, like, it's taking daily effort. Like, wife even asked me, what do you got planned after stream? So, well, I'm likely going to scout and at least get that next space area handled, which is short and easy. I said, it'll probably take me 40 minutes to do the whole thing, edit it and everything. But, uh, you know, I mean, I just jumps right into the next thing after this. And she's like, okay, cool. I think I'm going to go over and have a play date with Trex. And I was like, cool. So. But. You know, I try to save the weekends and stuff for uh, us doing stuff. I know that a lot more things are available, too, on the weekends. Like, we have, like, farmer's markets and things like that. Uh, and that uh, we actually have one on Wednesdays, too, which is what the wife wanted to do on Wednesday. So uh, I'll, I'll figure it out. Like, I've, I've honestly, I've spent time looking through games that I've wanted to play on my wish list, through Game Pass, through all of the new stuff that's available to me on PlayStation Premiere Plus, whatever you want to call it. Um, uh, nothing really just stands out as something that would be worthy. Like, you know, there's some things like Detroit Become Human, but I mean, that game's so old. Like, I don't... And so many people have played it, platinumed it, moved on, you know, like, I just don't know. Like, I thought about the quarry, but I still don't know if I want to pay $70 for that game, especially knowing that nobody's around to play it with me. At least currently, um, you know, and the multiplayer is not even out yet. But I mean, I, I, that's one of those games that like I would definitely want to play multiplayer. Uh, and let's see here. You know, I look for another game like Agent Intercept, but I, I, there's just not a lot of that kind of stuff out there. I mean, there's lots of like weird stuff I could play, cheap stuff too, but. Um, you know. Yes, definitely have responded to that question of whether or not I like this game. Yes, I do. I find it very soothing, very fun. I mean, I I brought it back after playing six full streams on the Xbox. I started over on the PlayStation and brought it back, and I'm playing it again on, on Mondays on the PlayStation 5. Um, definitely fun it's nice to start my monday off with something that's not like brain racking and crazy hard like i could see power washer taking over whenever like july 16th i could see myself playing this at least for a couple weeks and then and then jumping over to power washer sim and then playing that on monday um and, and then you know finding something else for wednesdays and fridays because it's just soothing it's just something about it it's just different it's like watching some of those videos of like you know production lines and there's all sorts of things right like some people's jobs just have that weird soothing watch factor um, and this game brings that for me for whatever reason um, and I'm hoping that super massive or not super massive but um, uh, brain fart brain fart brain fart uh, skyhook hooks me up with one of those uh, Father's Day gift packs that they were flaunting around on Twitter that I reached out and said, I need that in my life. Happy to send my address. But I haven't gotten any messages from him on the Twitter sphere, so I don't think I won. I uh, appreciate that, Justin. Appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, hey, there's definitely, uh, there's no slouching around here. You know, Kirsten be going crazy on the stream schedule, too. Like, sometimes two times a day, multiple days a week, like, the grind is real. Not to mention all the help that she and others provide. Tyler and Ray's and even Joey and Gray sometimes. Uh, I do not play Minecraft. I'm not a Minecrafter. Much like Roblox and those other crafting survival based games. I just don't find myself enjoying them very much. I'm sure some fun could be had with the right group and everything. I, I did spend four hours one time with uh, Tyler and Paz in a Minecraft world, and we we like had some certain small time goals and some long term goals, and we spent four hours recording and playing. And I was going to break it up into a series called Minecraft Mondays, 
but something went wrong with my capture and the audio did not match and there was no fixing it wasn't consistent it wasn't like i could slide it two seconds to the right and it all matched up it was like it was two seconds ahead in this part but four seconds ahead in that part and then one second and then matched up and split perfectly on here and like it was just something was wrong with the processing when it when it was recorded and um so i couldn't use it but like i spent four hours building all this stuff and then tyler came and blew it all up and he was laughing so hard and it was it was funny i'm sure for you guys to watch like had it ever made the light of day tyler was laughing hysterically like i like he may have He'd been broken for a little bit. He was laughing so hard. Uh, but he came in, and I think he brought a creeper in. He, he, like, brought some dynamite in and, like, stuck it off in the corner and then, like, brought a creeper in and shot it and, it, like, blew up the foundation of, like, my building and then I built it. It was, like, bad. It was, like, and he was laughing so hard. And he was just trolling me after that. So, I mean, much like some other games, like The Forest, when I played The Forest with Joey, he sort of ruined The Forest for me. Uh, because he thought it'd be fun to troll me instead of, like, play the game and beat it. And now I don't ever want to play that game again because Joey ruined it for me. <laughs> and he knows that. It's not, not, not a secret or anything. And maybe that was always his plan. But yeah, like, you take something I don't really care for, and then you have me spend a ton of time on it, and then you destroy it all. <laughs> like I said, I'm sure it would have been funny for the troll factor on the video, but, like... And I'm, I'm surprised I haven't seen him type insert gif, you know, because he's got that moment of ultimate chicken horse that he came back from the dead and beat me on an unbeatable game. And I stomped around the room in displeasure. Probably with a few ex, ex, uh, bad words. <laughs> Not me. Not me. Yeah, and you know, like, I thought about playing, like, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, but Kirsten just got done with it. No, I'm just kidding. I don't really want to play that game. I was just trying to throw shade. Hey, hey, Teflon, what up? Really wanted to play, uh, Plague Tale. But now I can't because she's playing it. <laughs> I didn't, didn't want to play it. Despite the fact that people think that I would. Like, I mean, maybe I would like it. I don't know. At this point, it's more fun to just, like, poke and point the finger and blame the reason I can't find any good games because Kirsten's stealing them all. <laughs> Tough load up in the house. Hey, you let her fight her own battles. You let her fight her own battles. <laughs> it appears as though she's not here right now. <laughs> when was the last time? We haven't seen her for a minute. In a minute. <laughs> uh. Hey, I wonder, did you guys get the, was it the BD-1? Isn't that the name of it? That's a little robot from Star Wars, uh, the crappy map giver. Oh, I hate that guy so much. Oh my gosh, why have I not thought about this? I could get that Lego set and build that crappy map given robot and smash him into pieces for my revenge. You guys remember how much I loved the map in Jedi, what is it, uh, not Fallen, what is it, Jedi Fallen, no, what is it, Jedi, ah, whatever it was, crappy map giver, I don't know why I can't think of the name of the game, it's how much I liked it, no, I actually really enjoyed the game, but, uh, I was not a fan of the map at all, but there's that new Lego set that's supposed to be from that and uh yeah I'm, I, I, I'm, I have no interest in Minecraft we did play the uh 
whatever it was, the Minecraft Adventures, or what was that other one called? Minecraft. That, those were cool. I like the story-based ones that you run around. And I had somebody helping me out, telling me wh where all the stuff was and how to do it. Yeah, Fallen Order. There we go. Uh, so those were fun. I beat those pretty easy. Minecraft Dungeons was actually fun, too. I don't hate the Minecraft franchise. I'm just not a big fan of the base game. Like, there's just not enough direction on how to or where to. And I was not big on trying to learn. And the crafting system always just, like, broke my poor little brain. I just wasn't a fan of it. Like, Reese and all these kids, I grew up with it. And it's just second nature. Like, it's easy. But that, that I did not. And I was I didn't play it in the first ten years that game existed. Like, Paz? Paz loves it. Absolutely loves it. Not me. He tries to get me to play it all the stinking time. In fact, he's, uh, he's trying to loop me into something else right now. But I tell you what, if he doesn't hurry up and do it, I'm going to do it. I'm going to steal his idea. <laughs> I told him that too. I said, bro, if you don't hurry up and do something, it's like, well, I don't want to do it for nothing. For I want to have people. and So I need to, like, stream and do stuff. I'm like, no, you know. Let's do the other stuff. I'll bring, I'll bring, I'll let everybody know that we're doing it. I'll bring anybody and everybody who wants to watch and be a part of this from my side. You got your people from your side and, and there'll be people and it'll get better and bigger as time goes on and more people come in and, you know, more get involved. You know, you start bringing in other people from other channels or other things, their people will come too. You know, I've got some friends that might be willing to participate that could potentially bring a lot of people. Um, oh my goodness, I barely touched that. I barely touched it. Minecraft Legends? I'm not sure I've seen that. I don't know what that is. Whoa! There's like a down here slide right here. Holy cow. Yeah, I don't think I'm familiar with Minecraft Legends. I mean, if it's like the uh, the other game, what was the other game called? Minecraft Dungeons, and then what was what was the other one though? There was that like choose not choose your own adventure, but like the, it was like a Telltale games, the other TT games that's like the died and like came back to life or something to finish up the, the Walking Dead one. I don't know if they're still functioning or not. I feel like they are, but I don't think I remember any games they made. Maybe that's what they're doing. Maybe they're making another Minecraft one. Action strategy overworld teams up against another really great trailer. Huh. I'm not sure I saw that. If it's like dungeons, I'm probably in on that, because I had a blast. Especially I'll have to I'll have to get Pally back. And speaking of where the where crap is Pally? We haven't seen him in a long time. He was here like every day for like a long time and then poof. It's like a magic trick. He's just gone. Pally carried us through Minecraft Dungeons. He was like level 7,000. And he just came in and one-tapped basically everybody. And we just followed him around. That was actually really fun. Uh, tomorrow? Man. We're having some complications here. Either that or we're intentionally trying to be a pain. I, I, don't, I don't know which way. I can't determine which way it's happening. We don't stream on Tuesdays. Monday... Wednesday, Friday is our current stream schedule. And as I mentioned a little bit ago, I have yet to determine or select a game to move forward with Wednesdays as we finished up our game last Wednesday. And I've looked. It's not that I haven't spent any time. It's, I just don't know what the crap I'm going to play. Um, you know, I've thought about trying to round up some evil dead people to play with, but... I'm not sure that's the solution. Uh, I've thought about the quarry. Again, not sure that's the solution. Both of those games are like borderline HTGTV games, but also look like I would have fun with both of them. Uh, you know, a lot of the games that were free with PlayStation Premium tiers, I already had or have already played. Um, or in some cases, both. 
So, uh, you know, there's a lot of games available to me, but I feel like I'm going to have to start doing more PC-based stuff in order to really play new, fresh, fun games that I like, that you guys might like. Um, you know what I mean? Because console releases are pretty slow right now. I'm pushing it so hard right now with these flowers. I know we talked about, like, having, like, a uh, viewer vote day where you all try to make me play some terrible, horrendous games, but then you pay for them. <laughs> I talked about that. We also talked about, like, just voting and having me pay for the games, but also play whatever you vote for. Maybe not horrendous, but, like, I've got Peppa Pig. Y'all wanted to see me embarrass myself and play that. I don't know. I, I, I feel weird about that. I feel like... I feel like that's sort of into a realm that I don't want to get into because I I just don't want to seem I don't even want to say what I'm because it may not even be an issue but like I don't know what up Wild Rick in a minute good to see ya uh, let's see here I miss Powell Powell Pow oh Powley gotcha yeah 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 uh, building bases not like my now. Huh. I'll have to check that out, Justin. You'll have to remind me if I don't make mention of it. But yeah, I, uh... Traditional Minecraft? Not necessarily my thing, but it has nothing to do with the franchise. I like, you know, the creepers and all that stuff. That doesn't bother me, scare me, turn me on or off. Like, it's just... It's just the main core game was just, for some reason, just not something. And, and if I sat down and actually figured out how to do everything and learn, like, the basic crafting stuff so I knew what took what to get what. Um, and, and I have been told that some of that stuff's gotten better. Like, it now, I think, displays some of, like, the needs or whatever. Where in the beginning, I don't think it did. Um, I, I, but again, I'm, I'm not experienced enough to know, but I just know that I don't like it. I'm, that, that's as experienced as I am. I'm experienced enough to know that I don't really like it. But yeah, that, that Legends is like, uh, especially if it's multiplayer or whatever, I'll assemble a team and we'll get to work. Yeah, like, you're, you're the only one fixated on the channel not succeeding. Yeah, like, you're the only one that's feeling like, I need help. I don't feel like I need help. I, I'm not asking or needing any suggestions other than maybe a game to play on Wednesday. But it won't be Lego. I already talked about that. Lego is... Uh, w w we have a Sunday schedule for Lego streams of games we've already played. Uh, but that's currently on pause due to my family being home for the summer. Uh, me having a little eligibility on the weekends to do things. Reese is going to be working a lot during the week. Uh, at the golf course and supposedly taking the weekends off. Uh, my wife is also working at the golf course. We'll be doing beverage cart and bartending for a fair amount of the days during the week. But weekends are currently our goal for off. But w w that, that may be something to change. You know, uh, if, if they're going to be working on Sundays every week and I'm just going to be sitting here twiddling my thumbs and I will probably go back to streaming on Sundays. But uh, beyond that, we're cool. We're good where we are. And I mean, I'm still pulling rough to a million views a month, so I, I feel like that's probably not worthy of complaining about. I think we're at like 870. <laughs> so we're a little under it, but still, that's still a lot. Knowing that this is our bad time of the year, too. We're, we're totally content with where we are. Totally. All right, we are in the home stretch as we need one more percent. Uh, yeah, MC can be dead if you don't know. Yeah, that, that's... It, it, like, there's no, like, I, like objective menu, right? Like, like, if I could tag, go to a menu in Minecraft and, and like, tag something and, like, do it. Like, like, for example, like, Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga. 
like a menu like that like it's super robust there's tons of things different challenges different things different places to go different items to buy and all these different things right like if th that was in minecraft if that's how it functioned and like i could tag something and a waypoint marker would take me or show me or what i would be a lot more interested you know i like i said i've had some guides in the past that have tried to help me and and sort through some of that but then they blow up all my stuff and <laughs> You know, but there's some like, you know, Jurassic Park stuff and other mods, especially for the PC world, that I find um, very intriguing, but I, I still hasn't looped me in yet. So, uh, 35, 35. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right. A potential bling coming up. Potential bling. No. Okay. Uh. So I'm not level three. That's the next available one. So I still have a bunch of cheese to spin. All right. So we've officially leveled him up. Okay, so now 400. So I got a couple more days yet. So, okay, come on. Give me a litter job. Give me a litter. Let's put Buddy. Uh, general cut. Okay, okay. So we'll put Buddy on this one. So he'll go mow that for me. Thank you very much. Uh, I wish there was a litter contract. What's the rating on that? 235. Okay. Psych. I lied. He's going to do this one. There we go. That's going to get us more p -p -p paid. Uh, uh, I want money. I like money. But uh, I don't want to be at it forever either. Forever. All right. Okay. Lots of hell. Lots of hell. We got five objects. I see one way over there. Oh, hi, Frisbee. That movie's been on so much on TV lately. Oh, hi, Mark. It's pretty funny. Oh, hi, Greg. Speaking of Greg, we haven't seen any ninja smoke today. Maybe the ninja store was out of uh, poof smoke. He won't be able to make his grand entrance. That might be embarrassing. I might not show up if I couldn't poof my smoke that I drop every day. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Oop. All right. So this could potentially be the final yard we mow today. Uh, I'm not saying that on purpose, but cutting blades, $50. I didn't really check on the maintenance and such. I probably should have. Oh, well. We'll do this one and we'll check it out. And cut height, 550, so we need to drop it to 6. Yeah, see, I definitely remember this one with the gazebo coming through here, or whatever, this little gondola, or whatever you want to call it. I don't know, not a gondola, but it's a fun word to say, though. Yeah, soon we get into the stripe yards. I'm going to try to make it a habit to not do any striping myself and make, like, the people do all the striping. Oh, my helpers. Loki! What up, broski? You got all sorted on Coruscant, right? I know you kind of think said you think you figured it out. Was it related to a, uh, I don't know. Like a quest needing to be done before it was showing up? Or what was the deal on that? Was it the one that was underground that, like, looks like it's not accessible, but then turns out, like, it is? It wasn't a quest. The brick was just hidden. Okay. <laughs> so when you tagged it? Or did you have to... You had to buy the rumor. You just couldn't see it on the map to tag it. I'm tracking. I'm tracking. Gotcha. 
Yeah, I've had a couple like that. Like, in the last video I just did, um, I had one brick left. And I, I knew where it was because I'd done my scouting run. Uh, but, but it wasn't showing up on the map. And so, like, I ran over to the area. I bought the rumor, so I knew, and I went to that area. And, and then I got there, and um, I was literally, like, standing right below it, looking right up at it. I could see it, like, glowing, but it wouldn't show up on my map. So I just went ahead and grabbed the brick. But, uh, you know, there's definitely been some weird stuff in that game. And, and I, if I'm remembering correctly, I think you're playing it on the Switch as well, which I've definitely heard some weird stuff on that. Most Mostly recovered by or uh, fixed by just restarting the switch or in the game sometimes but that's usually my suggestion just restart but in that case yeah rumors definitely help you're likely going to be done before I get the free roam out the door as you know there's one that I've gotten out and there will be another one on Saturday uh, so like you know Ewok Village is next up so if you haven't done Ewok Village I got you covered bro I got you covered if you uh, need the challenge for network, uh, Rebel Network, got you covered on that as well. That'll be tomorrow's video, actually. And then, uh, yeah, we got a space video. We got space videos are just filler. I don't think anybody's really going to need or I don't expect those to get a lot of views. But in covering the 100%, I found that I wanted to cover them. And adding a, even a five or 10 minute video where I have to get maybe a character or two or perhaps, you know, you load right into a space battle. And I mean, sometimes it's easier to fly out. Sometimes it's easier to just to finish it, uh, you know, or maybe a stud comment, whatever, you know. So there's definitely some distractions in space. Um, often those capital ships will show up and, and rain on your parade as well. So, you know, a couple minutes here, a couple minutes there. I just figured that I would rather have them in a separate video rather than make an hour and five minute video, an hour and 10 minute or an hour and 15, you know what I mean? So just splitting them all up. It also gives our release schedule a little bit more of filler in between. So it seems like I'm doing more. I mean, I'm really doing it, but. But yeah, so Saturdays will be planets. Tuesdays and Thursdays are potential for upgrade and space videos or challenge videos as well. We might run into a trophy achievement along the way too. Where I mean, we're still early in the game. We've we've gotten uh, eight out of the 58 areas captured and uploaded to the servers. I think the ninth one is going up today, but I could be wrong on that. Uh, let's see here. I haven't actually started free play. We'll probably. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. If you haven't done free play yet, then yeah, you got a, a couple of days at least worth of uh, videos to keep you busy because. You know, and I definitely recommend trying to get through the story and free play before you do free roam, just based on the feedback we've gotten from a lot of people. Certain things don't spawn or allow advancement in some cases. Now, patches have likely fixed most of those, but whenever they fix one thing, they always break a couple others. There has also been a couple of collectibles that have been relocated, Loki, so be aware of that. Um, you'll see in a video, I'll like, smash an art easel with a mini kit on the art easel like drawn on there and then there'll be bricks that you can build into a mini kit and then you'll find that that easel is not in the same place there's just a couple of small things i don't know if they intentionally moved them or what but i know there's a lot of people out there that got videos for free play done even before i did therefore a lot of videos are not necessarily matching with the gameplay which is a really cheeky move on the developer side of things because like Seriously, why would you do that? Knowing that people out there, like me, create videos to help others who are buying and playing your game, why would you change it like that? I mean, there's likely a, a some sort of a logical reason, like something with the code was messed up, or maybe it wasn't supposed to be there to begin with, and it was, and now, you know, I know that there was a... Uh, I talked about this already. You missed this part of the, the conversation, though, Loki, that... There was a mission that I did on Temple Island, and it was for a character. And when I got done with that mission, I was rewarded with the character token being unlocked. I still had to purchase it, but it was unlocked. But if you paid attention off to the right-hand side, the help menu, the little hollow whatever, 
popped up and said, hey, you've got a new ship now. And so by doing that mission for a character, it also unlocked a ship. That ship was actually for another level up ahead. Now, ironically, they were almost the same exact mission. They really were. They were both for obtaining and finding obsidian scattered throughout the mining complex on Mustafar. But they were one was one was for a character and on a different planet, different area. But instead of just unlocking a mission to do the care, it unlocked the ship. And when I got to Mustafa, before I even landed on the mining complex to do any collecting, I had one of two ships, but only after completing that mission on Temple Island. So there's definitely some weird stuff that, I mean, maybe they made it that way so you could unlock the, the separatist vulture droid ship in two different ways. But why would you have a specific mission for a character unlock a ship? And why would you have a specific mission for a ship already be unlocked by playing the character? Like, it just doesn't, that doesn't add up to me. And I mean, people say, oh, you're so dumb, you did it wrong. No, I've got it recorded. Like, y'all can watch the videos when I release them. And uh, so it's just really weird. I, I don't know how or why, but uh, I did all the tracking and, and discovered that that, in fact, was what happened. I unlocked a ship that was for a mission that I hadn't even got to yet. And then when I complete that mission, I don't actually get the ship there. I labeled it that way, but when you watch the video, it's like, wait a minute, what? We already got this guy. And I probably should have talked about it a little bit more uh, in specific. Like, I, I honestly, I don't think I talk about it much when it's happening. Like, I'm not like, oh, you probably already got this from playing. To I just show you how to do it because I'm not exactly sure if that's going to be patched or fixed or changed, you know, or if that's how it's supposed to be or regardless, I show you where the mission is and how to do it and you should unlock it. But I heard the Drex coming up here. Uh, when do I go on vacation? Um, I don't remember the exact dates to be completely honest with you. I think it's like, I think we leave the last day of July, I think. And I think we come back like the 6th of August or 7th of August. I, I, our, our, my anniversary, uh, my marriage anniversary with my wife is on August 9th. And I want to say we get back like the day before the two days before that. I'm not sure though. I'll have to get back to you on that. But it's it's end of July, early August, though. It's still a few weeks out, which is awesome because I got lots of time to, to bust out videos, which is, again, why I'm also only releasing one per week on the big ones. Because although right now I've been pretty lucky and been able to pump out a, quite a few without many or any mistakes and having to retake anything, um, it, that's always a possibility. And that's a huge, like, if I do a an hour long video and then I have to redo it and then you know, it just that just sets everything back so much further um, so I don't want the pressure to be on me and then like I said once I get back from my vacation I will likely uh, link all of the videos that are done and continue to do so as I get them done so that they'll be available but um, I just I don't want the few hundred people that want to watch whatever videos will be released that week I don't want them to watch them before I actually release them and then not, like have all the traffic be early. I want it to be while I'm gone. I'm trying to make sure that like I don't fall completely off that week that I'm gone. Because that would be terrible. Currently exploring. Okay. Uh, I feel like I should. Well, you know, it's possible that there might be some overlap for completing stuff other places or that things aren't showing because you need to complete stuff in other places. That's why we're doing the unlock order, how we're doing. That's also why it's taking so long because it took us a few days slash weeks to piece together a bunch of information. Like Tyler gave me a bunch of info and, um, you know, the internet's got some info. We did some trial and error stuff too. We looked at a bunch of, uh, or I spent a ton of time looking through the mission menus, like looking at rumors and like, okay, this planet needs this planet to be, you know, cause like it'll tell you in your missions um, you know, it'll be in red and say like you need to complete this first or it'll be in green because you've completed it um, Yeah, 
So. Alright, so we're almost halfway done with this. So we might get another lawn in after all. We might actually shut it down early too, just depending on how close it is to to two. I, I, I've noticed that oh no, Kirsten is back. Okay, I was gonna say I don't think we've seen Kirsten. I, I was I, I was testing the waters by throwing some uh, cheap shots out there and she never responded, so but uh, she's back now. I guess I should be quiet so she doesn't catch on and go back and listen. I almost got in a fight with Ray's for trying to stick up for you. <laughs> I was just saying, I can't find a game for Wednesday and I was blaming it on you. All the games I want to play, Kirsten's playing. I wanted to play Plague Tale, but she's playing it. I wanted to play Assassin's Creed Valhalla, but she's playing it. I wanted to play. I wanted to play. I was just kidding, of course. <laughs> All those games have been very, very uh, clear from day one that they weren't necessarily Brian games. So, uh, like, <laughs> it was just like testing to see if you were out there. And you weren't. Lunch is good. Lunch can be good. And yes, there was bacon being made. My wife offered to make me some, but I told her, nah, I'll wait till after I'm done. Last thing I need to be doing is scarf down a bunch of bacon on the screen. Ah, okay. Thank you, Justin. Appreciate that. Save me the hassle from having to go Google it or mainly me forgetting about it. <laughs> this way I should see it. Also, I built in my first area of the... Oh, nice! Uh, what was the poly? What was it? And it, it? and it is an actual poly bag. It's not the uh, the creative whatever tree thing 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 that I got. They change it all the time, so I, I, I'm not sure. It's like the God. What was it? I'm trying to think of because this one was a box that that mine came in. It was so it technically wasn't a poly bag. It was basically a poly bag size. You know, set not not a whole lot of bricks. Uh, speed champions. Oh, nice! So it was, yeah, Polly for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do not have that one. Let her fight her own battles, Rays. There you are again. <laughs> oh man, I love it. I love it. I've just got a big old shovel flinging stuff around today, huh? <laughs> Built yours yesterday. Yeah, see, I don't build poly bags. I collect them. Although I kind of quit collecting them, I. I Every time I go, I don't really look anymore. They've got the poly bags in a weird spot now, so it's not in, in like a natural place that I would find myself. So I don't really look as much anymore. My wife does occasionally, um, but I kind of stopped buying them because again, I'm running out of space to put stuff. Like I don't know, like I, my my I think I showed Kirsten and raised not long ago. Uh, and that was before I got my uh, Optimus Primes, too. And now I've got one Optimus behind me and one, uh, like, the room is pretty full. Now, yes, I could stack it up higher so that it fit like a Tetris game and, and it was like blocking the door and all. But we also have some shelves in there with like pots and pans that we actually use. So we still need to be able to use that little storage room. And most of the other areas throughout the house are just not Lego storage rooms. And and then we've got like attic space, but that gets way too hot. There's no way I'm putting my poly bags and stuff in there. Like, I I'm sure it's not gonna melt anything, but I mean, it's possible it could distort coloring and things like that, because it does get 100 plus degrees in there, especially on, on a real good summer day, you know? But I don't know, I don't know how, those bricks probably take more than 110, 120 degrees before they start doing anything, but you know, boxes and things like that too will start fading. Uh, or mice, right? 
don't want to mess with mice. Last thing I want to do is put a whole bunch of money in into storage and then have come back and have them be like all miced up. It'd be the worst. Ripping on this yard. It's a little squirrely over here. A little weeble wobble. Ugh, I missed that patch. Well, I know there's a big spot there if I need uh, like a 0.1% or something. That might be a full 0.1%. All right, I'm going to kick her in the tail a little bit here and try to get around this a little faster. This seems to be pretty flat. Minus that flower I just plowed. <laughs> Took you long enough. Yeah, poly bags are often really short builds. Usually 100 pieces or less. Uh, usually like 60 or less. But there have been some biggies. Remember when I did that polybag stream a long time ago and I had all my polys out? I don't remember how many I had. It was like 148 or something like that. I have some dupes. There's definitely some dupes in there. Duplicates. And, um... Uh, not duplos. Duplicates. <laughs> better, better verify that. 97 pieces, so there you go, yeah. Most of them are 100 or less. Mostly. Yeah, I can't remember the last poly I got was. I like the Speed Champions one. I, I like the Speed Champions in general. However, they don't do enough, like, German-based stuff. Like, I'd like to see more BMWs. And I know they got the Bugatti, and I know they got... The, but I'm talking about, like, smaller stuff. Not not break the bank $400 for a freaking set. Like, it's crazy. And that takes, like, 20 hours to build, too. Crazy. Super awesome! crazy. I tried to get Reese to build uh, I got a Porsche, a Technics Porsche and it's like a like a F1 formula, you know, racing Porsche with, and it's got the augmented reality app that you can like pull back and like drag race it on the app, and, like puts all the stuff around it. It's pretty pretty cool. I mean, it's also pretty lame. You do it once and it's like, alright, I'm, I'm over it. But, um, he wasn't interested in building. That was a Friday. Um, and then, uh, yesterday, like I said, we watched the movie and ate dinner and uh, just hung out. It was cool. It was chill-tastic. All right, let's go ahead and zap this. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Mostly. I always think of that from, like, South Park the movie. I, was it the movie? No, it was the, uh, it was, uh, Trapper Keeper 5000. I'm afraid I'm not going to let you do that, cow. <laughs> Mostly. Mostly. Which is a reference to Newt from, um, uh, Aliens, the movie. The little Newt, that little girl they find on that uh, that colony the colony that they're trying to figure out what the crap happened to everybody that's what I always thought it was from but yeah Clarice maybe too Clarice uh, let's see here I did make a mistake I didn't count the number of connections uh, yeah I've heard I've been reading I'm sure you guys have seen that follow the Lego Facebook groups that I'm in, um, there's been a handful of people that have put together the Prime wrong and like like the jetpack doesn't go on right or the head's not transforming right, like there's obviously a bunch of uh, bricks that could be misplaced and that's another reason why I'm not trying to do that because it's supposed to take three and a half hours, four hours to build, which is perfect, right? Because you know, take a little break, me doing an intro three and a half hours would literally be perfect if I can hit the three and a half hour mark like, I don't know that I could actually nail that. I would likely be a four or five hour stream. Um, 
Especially with my hands getting all nummy. I, I don't know. Maybe I'll split it up. Maybe I'll just do like a two hour on Wednesday and a two hour on the following Wednesday. Maybe I'll just build it off stream and pick a game for Wednesday. I don't know. I don't know. That's <laughs> Yeah. We have a, uh, I have one of those little, uh, well, here, I can actually show you. We have one of these guys. And it, uh, it pops open, right? And it's got the legs that pop out. And then it's got, like, the height you can adjust. And so I just put it right here. Boom. I sit right here on these chairs and watch TV and build. That's how we do it. Mostly. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't like having them on a on, on an uneven surface either. But that's perfect. And I, I actually have this little tray. In fact, I got that. I can show you too. It's like a. Uh, it's part of a, like a, a set like a, a chopping block. Um, you know. Uh, why the crap can't I think? I'm not a cook, so I don't know. Um, <laughs> cutting board. It's just a plastic cutting board. So it's got like curved edges on the side to kind of keep everything together. And yep, Justin's got it. And, and so I just put, put them all in there. I like empty a bag and put them on that and put it on the table. So then I can kind of slide that around, move my build around and stuff. I mean, trust me, it's not my first rodeo. <laughs> I've definitely built some sets in my time. That's for show. Sure. Yeah, I need to update. We need to get some more things and hang them in our hallway and then give you guys an update. Uh, so we sort of took the Lego room with the Lego table and everything we used to have way, way, way back in the day. Um, we destroyed that. It's now Drex's, like, eating room and food and treats. And it's also become my, my wife's, like, atrium. <laughs> it's all of her plants, and including the pineapple and all that stuff. Uh, it's all sitting on a table in that, that room. Um... But we took like a handful of like the, the cooler or the more intense stuff or whatever, just stuff we liked that was still put together. We took that and hung it on. We got like one of those hanging cube things. It's got like, uh, you know, eight spots to put things in. And uh, we put a bunch of the builds in there. And I need to get a couple more of those and some bigger shelves to put some of the bigger stuff so I can keep building. Because that's really the only place we have. Uh, I do plan on hanging both of my minifig shadow boxes next to my YouTube playlist or uh, play button over there. So they'll be like in the background. You probably won't be able to like make them out and see what they really are, but uh, they're going to go over there. Kind of fun. I also have another framed Lego. I actually have two other Lego posters. Uh, one's sort of similar in size to the shadow boxes, and it is sort of a shadow box. It's from Lego Dimensions, and it says, don't worry, we're a doctor. We're the doctors, and it shows all the different doctors that are in it, so it's got uh, you know, Back to the Future Doc, it's got Doctor Who, um, and it's also got, what's the other Doctor? There's another one in there too, but it's cool. It's cool. So I might hang that stuff up too, but ultimately we're just out of room for a lot of bigger stuff. Like my Nintendo, my NES Lego set, I got nowhere to put it. You know, I thought about getting one of those big yellow blocks, I got nowhere to put it. You know, like the, the I don't remember what they call it, the Question block. I just don't have anywhere to put anything right now. We talked about getting a storage unit and putting like some of our other stuff in that and then hopefully utilizing some space around here. But I don't know if we want to really do that. I, I really, I just need to go through and have a crazy garage sale this summer and sell a bunch of my junk. Like I had a loot crate subscription for like five years. And I kept every single item that I got in every one. And none of it's really that cool. I would say 5% of all the stuff I got was cool. And I know we've sold some of it in the past, but like there was like Pop Funkos that like you never heard of or saw, or maybe they weren't even really Pop Funkos. They were something like that though, like collectible type figurines. But I don't think they have any value or anything. They were sort of limited because they came in these loot crates, but I mean, so many people got loot crates, and they're all over eBay, and I just don't think much of it has any value. So we will likely be having a giant garage sale. Um, I know I got a lot of clothes, too, that were, like, 
skinny boy status, like younger Brian with clothes. <laughs> I, I always kept him thinking I'd get in. Oh, that's a really nice dry fit that I got to wear three times. I'll, I'll lose some weight and get in. Nah, that hasn't happened yet. Um, although I was informed during the BRB that uh, an old box was found and in the box there was like this book and it had like information on meal prepping and planning and all this stuff and like I guess she handed it to Reese and was like hey check this out does any of this sound good and Reese was like yeah I want to try this 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 so they got like this whole list they're building of like new foods it's supposed to be like super healthy and good for like uh, you know Reese is going to be doing a lot of gym activities this summer he's got a membership to a gym and will be like lifting weights and, and, you know, running the treadmill and doing all that kind of stuff with his friends. Um, and we're talking about getting a bike still, but I don't think that's going to happen. Um, just depends if we can find some room. <laughs> room is the factor here. We got a huge house, huge house. We got so much stuff, though, you guys. Like, between the, uh, the, the four of us, we have so much stuff. Um, yeah, enough to fill the whole house, like, literally. To the brim. Now, I got a lot of stuff that, like, for example, I, I, I know this is weird, but for resale value on a lot of stuff, uh, I often keep boxes. It starts off with, like, a return policy. Like, okay, I got 90 days to return this. I'm going to keep the box just in case I need to return it. I know that in a lot of cases, boxes and instruction manuals and stuff aren't as needed as they used to be. I remember... Back in the day, Fry's Electronics, you could not return anything unless you had every single, like, flyer, piece of paper, everything that came with it originally. They were sticklers about that stuff. Uh, at least ours in Wilsonville was really bad. Um, and so, uh, you know, I, I sort of just got in the habit of keeping all that stuff. And, uh, and then, like, after, you know, three, six months of me owning it, I don't need the box anymore. But then I forget that I have the box and I don't throw it away. So I accumulate like box. Like I, I probably have three or four PlayStation 5 controller boxes out in a stack that I could toss. I don't need any of those. I'm not going to take them back. I have a warranty that I can claim at Best Buy, which gives me a new box, which I'll probably forget about and, <laughs> and not throw away. And so you, you see how that works. But I mean, like, you know, with going through different microphones, right? I've had a handful of microphones over the years. I've had a, a Blue Yeti. I've had the HyperX. I've had the the Wave Elgato three. Um, I, I've had I've had a bunch of different things, cameras and such too. Like, I just I always keep everything. Uh, you know, my mixer box, like uh, PC boxes, TV boxes. You know, like a lot of the stuff's probably ready to be recycled or thrown away now. You know, but. Um, I, I, I probably have some shelf space that I could clear up with that kind of stuff. Um, but it's hard to say, you know, it's hard to say like if, uh, if it'll be enough. And now most of that space is out in like the garage. So like not ideal for Lego or any of that, you know, um, but you know, if it's not in direct sunlight and, and it's maybe got a fan on it in the summertime, if it gets too hot, it'd probably be all right out there. I really just need to get a nice, like, stacking shelf system that, so I can have, like, multiple levels of different sizes of shelves, so I can have, like, you know, like the NES and the DeLorean and some of the bigger boxes down low, right? And then have, like, some of the smaller stuff packed in up top with, like, you know, Scooby-Doo's and Speed Champions and, you know, all the other miscellaneous things that I have. Because I would love to see it all in one place out at once. Like right now, it's all tucked into boxes and boxes in storage with more boxes. So it's hard to tell and see. And like last, I don't remember when it was, a couple of six months ago, wife and I pulled everything out and we sort of discovered that there's a missing box. We think we know where it is, but it's not easily gotten to. Like basically, we put these metal shelves in front of them in front of these other shelves and then filled the metal shelves up so like like they're super heavy and have a ton of stuff and it, there's nowhere to put any of that stuff even for temporary purposes so um we're hoping that that's where it is but i i know that there's definitely a handful of my sets that are missing but i do have the most important ones like my wallies and my you know some of the older like the early lego or uh the lego delorean the back to the future set the the kusaku or Kus whatever it is like i got a couple of those and that's probably my most increased in value set. 
And it's still not that much. I think it's worth like 240, 250, and I think I paid 40 or 50 for them brand new. So they've definitely increased five times, four times, five times their value, but it's still only 250 bucks, right? Like, I mean, I spent a hundred and I could get maybe 400 back. So that's you know, some decent profit on that. But I think out of all the other Lego sets I have, I don't think there's any that are even close to that kind of increase. All right. Speaking of Back to the Future, you hear about the VHS tape that sold for 75K? No, but this is interesting. It's funny that you mentioned that. So uh, 10 years ago, when Reese was like six, seven years old, he used to spend a lot of time at my mom's mom's place. So my grandma, whoa, fly, whoa. Um, my grandma, and it's actually the one that lives really close to us. She, she lives literally like four or five blocks from us. Um, as I've also mentioned, we don't have a lot of communications with her on the day to day, uh, various reasons don't need to go into it. Um, it's something I struggle with cause I'm a big family man and I'm not very family oriented with a couple of my family members and it, and it bothers me, but there's hurdles that I have a hard time getting through. So all of that aside. Um, like a week ago, uh, my wife was actually talking to her and she's been trying to help her get some, uh, a dog trainer to come to her house. My grandma's pretty old. She's not in the greatest of shape. And in fact, she's actually, as of Sunday, uh, or no Saturday, as of Saturday has finally said, I give up. I'm going to go to a home now. I need to be in a home. So, so there's a bunch of stuff happening with her. And in the process, she's moving and starting to pack up her stuff. And flashback to 10 years ago, Reese used to spend a lot of time over there. And while he was there, he would watch movies. So my, my grandmother raised my cousin. Uh, that's a whole nother story too. Uh, but my grandmother raised my cousin. And he's five, six years younger than me. And, and I spent a fair amount of time when I was real young, but, you know, when I got to 10, 12, uh, but I didn't spend much time there. But because I was there sometimes and he was there all the time, my grandma spent a bunch of money on in the early 80s on VHS tapes. Now, you have to remember that in the 80s, you didn't buy movies. You didn't. Digital stuff wasn't available. Download, none of that stuff was around. In the 80s, it was actually quite expensive. And, and you'd be surprised to know buying a VHS or beta with a movie on it, uh, it was like a hundred plus dollars. If, you, if you've ever had any late fees or lost a movie renting one, you found that out the hard way. But um, it, they weren't very easy to get. And they, like you couldn't go to your Walmarts or Targets or, you know, Best Buy wasn't even around then, at least not in our area. Um, and so it was really hard to get and they were really expensive. So you went and rented them. You paid like a dollar or $2 to rent for three or four days. And that's how you got your media was through renting. Well, my grandma bought a bunch of these um, Disney movies. So she's got like Fox and the Hound and 101 Dalmatians and, you know, a lot of that kind of stuff. Right. Um, and I remember when Reese was like six, seven years old, I was telling her like, Listen, get a stupid DVD player and stop using those old worth money VHS tapes. Those are likely going to be worth money. And, and you know, because you always hear about some of these VHS tapes selling for, you know, $2,000 or in this case, even more, $75,000 for a Back to the Future unopened, right? That's pretty awesome. Hey, I've got a Ferris Bueller's Day Off DVD first gen never opened. Wonder if that'll be worth something. Um that's pretty old. It's a DVD, so it's like a reprint, not a VHS, right? Like uh, the, the they had already. The, you get what I'm saying, but still really old and like probably maybe worth something. Um, but so my grandma actually told my wife last week. She said, "Hey, you know, I know Brian doesn't really, you know, come over very often or whatever, but he should come over and get all these tapes that he wants." And it took me a while to figure out what she was even talking about because, like, there's been a lot of like. So, so dementia is, is, you know, memory thing. And, and, and she's really struggling with memory. So like there's times where she like, doesn't even remember who people are or where she is or what she's supposed to be doing. And, and it's, it's really tough. Losing your mind's gotta be really tough. Um, so she tells my wife, like, tell Brian to come get these tapes that he wants. And she got on the phone and told me that I'm like, 
I have no idea what she's talking about. Like, I have zero idea. Like, I there's no tapes over there that I want. Like, and then I started processing it, and I was like, you know, like ten years ago, I probably made mention that her tapes were worth money and that she should sell them. I never was like, let me have them. I want them. Like, I did. I was telling her she had something of value, right? Like, um, and I think that's what's happened i think 10 years ago she remembers me saying that these have value she's cleaning out all our junk she's like brian would love these right so maybe trying to make men's or whatever um but i just thought that was interesting so i have no idea what she has i haven't made my way over there to go get them it's not necessarily at the top of my priority list right now but um ultimately i am kind of curious to see what it is and if you know like, like, listen, if she's got like a video that's worth like $10,000 or a thousand or hundreds of dollars, I'm not keeping a friggin' penny of it. I'm going to sell it for her and give her the money. But, you know, like, um, definitely, uh, definitely an interesting scenario, but it maybe you, you mentioned the VHS tapes and stuff. So it made me think of that, but, uh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, so far, I've been, I've been, as I've mentioned, I've been extremely lucky with, um, you know, just genetics and, and, you know, diseases and things in my family. Like, um, you know, we've had some cancer stuff, but most of it's been treatable. Um, you know, like my grandparents, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be 45 in January. So in five, six months, I'll be 45 years old. And I still have three of my biological grandparents alive. That's that's crazy. My grandmother just turned 95 a couple days ago. Uh, you know, my grandfather is 86. And let's see here. My grandmother right up the way. She's actually the youngest out of them all. Um, she's uh, 36, so 70. So she's 81. Uh, or Actually, she just turned 80 in January this year. So, she, yeah, 80. Um, so they're up there, you know. Um, and, and grandma's actually fighting dementia and, and, and cancer right now, stage two breast cancer for the second or third time. Um, and she's even had stuff removed, like, like all of her stuff. And somehow it just keeps finding its way back. Um, but yeah, uh, extremely lucky with all that stuff, but you know, uh, there's that old saying when it rains, it pours, uh, you know. Like I said the other day, time waits for no one. Old, old, old Father Time's going to come crashing down and start, you know, punching some tickets at some point, which uh, is terrifying. But hey, guys, uh, we're 15 minutes early. I don't unless there is a litter contract, I'm likely done mowing for the day because it'll just take way too much time to, to advance. But let's uh, let's go ahead and get this employee trained. $400. And then just cross our fingers that there is, in fact, a uh, a litter package available for us. Because the litter ones go super quick. Oh, so there's, there's, oh wait, there's a bunch of them. Up, up, up. Oh, no, complexity is 200. So wait, contract overview. Where does it say litter, though? Like, I know that. It's Old Nook Cottage. Vehicle, 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 vehicle. Okay, so no, 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 no. All right, so hey, Muhammad, what's up? You're making it just in time for me to say hello and also goodbye. Uh, keep in mind, tomorrow we will be uploading a video for a challenge on LEGO Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga. It's called the Net, the Rebel Network Challenge. Uh, it's actually related to the next Free Room Planet video we will release. And so uh, anytime there's a challenge related specifically to a planet, we're going to knock that out first. Now, there's other challenges that are not specific to a planet, like the Ewok Finder, right? There's like 30 Ewoks scattered throughout the galaxy. There's multiple on some planets and some on, on there's some planets that don't have any. But we'll we'll be getting those in one giant video together, right? Um, and, and, and then anyone though, that's specific to an area, I think there's two more, if I'm remembering correctly, um, we'll do those prior to so that they will be concluded by the time you get there. But we wanted people to be able to search those specific challenges. Uh, we found that they were very useful and some of the bigger hitting videos for our Lego DC super villains series, 
Um, so even though they weren't on screen like a match, like the people, some people preferred, they were very searchable, very easily found and very much used, still getting used to this day. Um, so we wanted to make sure that those challenges were available here too, versus just including them in a level, which is kind of what we used to do. So we're kind of almost breaking our own rule in a sense by splitting those up. But by doing them first, they're done. So when you get to the area, you've already got like a head start on it and then you'll complete the area and you'll be a hundred percent. So we just wanted to not leave the area not done a hundred percent. Right. So if we save the challenge for like later, let's say, Oh, we're not going to do any challenges until we're done with free roam completely. Right. So then when I got done with that area that had a challenge that was specific to the hundred percent, then it wouldn't have been a hundred percent. So again, a lot of the stuff's us figuring things out so that our videos are complete, right? So, um, appreciate everybody understanding that and being super patient with our release schedule, but just know that I'm way ahead of things right now and I'm going to, I'm feeling really good about it. And as soon as I get back from vacation, which is not till like August, still a couple, three, four, five weeks out. Uh, once I get back from then, I'll probably start mass releasing them as soon as I get them done versus just on Saturdays. But until I have everything built up and more for my vacation, then I'm going to just keep doing it this way. So, hey, uh, much love to you all. Thank you so much for hanging out and spending your time with me and others, too. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and dip out right now as it's a couple minutes early, but not too early. I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. If you did, don't forget to click that like button down below. Of course, commenting and sharing is always welcome as well. And let's uh, see. I don't know what happened, but I just got a tiny 3PO. <laughs> oh, no, that's weird. Is it like an actual character or is he just like loading in super, super smell? I'm curious now. You got me, you got me hooked. I need to know. I, I've had some weird stuff happen. Uh, I, I completed a level to 100% and then there was a character token showing in the corner. And I, all the way up until I got there, the marker was counting off and taking me there. And then I got there. As soon as I got there, the character token just dissolved right above where it would have been the character, but it was still there. I also had that incident that I talked about earlier where I got a character mission completed here and it gave me a ship for a mission that was supposed to be done way over here on another planet. I don't know why I did that, but it did do that. This is weird stuff, but he's loading in small. <laughs> you should screenshot it and put it on the Discord, broski. Let me see that. I'd love to see that. Hey, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. Much love to you all. I will hopefully see you on Wednesday. Uh, there is a small chance that I might go do some farmer's market stuff with the wife instead, but it looks like I will likely be maybe building Optimus. I don't know. I'll have to figure some things out and hopefully get it all sorted before then. I hate scrambling at the last minute, but you guys know the drill. Head on over to any of our social medias. If you have not already, please check out Happy Thumbs Gaming. Boy, I almost couldn't hit that note there. Allergies or I guess dry throat. Gotta wet that whistle. Always stay hydrated. Anyways, guys, as always, until next time.